That was my best bar last time. Speaking of Brian Pumper, didn't someone DM you from a Brian Pumper account that we don't know if it was real? Yes, or but no? he made me. He, he swore me to secrecy. Crumper Brian. Oh, I'm sorry. He made me promise. So I literally promise just, what? I just broke the secrecy. Well, I mean, no, because you didn't specify anything. But they did um, give me a little bit of information about his situation, and I also heard that he has seen my video about him. That and, Brian Parker. Does he it. like it? That remains to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard from someone that you he's, know that he's he's seen it. I'm, yeah, but we we, we need Is to. Is he upset? Yeah, we need to. I know. don't know that information yet because I would be like. You trying to find you. You would be upset about I, I mean he didn't really He's saying the nigga steals poop 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 rags and runs away with it. That wouldn't make you upset? He kind of just did like an in-depth like breakdown about him more. I didn't than, talk about anything in that video that wasn't already on Worldstar. Mm. And you know So Google. him sniffing toilet paper. Worldstar posted that like ten years ago. Okay. What? See? That's gang I shit. Forgot, right I forgot. I must have forgot the exact he said details. The girl would shit, wipe her ass. He would take the toilet paper and like have it in a compartment or something. He would just keep it in his drawer so he could sniff it whenever he wanted. It's all in the video. In your video, I watched that. I don't remember that. Well, it's because it was so good that yeah. you fucking Mandela affect yeah. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot about it. No, it was really. That was like one. Of, that was one of the most in depth videos I think you ever made. It took months of work, but most it took of, really years if you think about it. Most of the work was just me not doing anything involving <laughs> it at all, and just sort of waiting to do something. That was like yo Picasso. You was like, man, yeah, I want to no. get this Brian Pumper video. And then it so came bad. out and it got like eight hundred k. We're lit. That is lit though. No, it was honestly one of your best, one of your best moments. People honestly. always point out that I talk about Brian Pumper on every single episode. Episode. You got ticks. We we pointed that out. You got ticks. They're we living got, on your skin. We got sticks. We all got ticks, but like T. Rell just found out about his because he did. You know what I'm saying? He's been doing interviews, and the people keep pointing out. I don't even. I didn't need to say. You'd be like this. You go. uh, Me? Yeah. Yeah. When you get really high, Mm. or maybe not. See, you just did it. No, there it goes. Do it on purpose. (laughs) You just did it. (laughs) I'm trying to imagine myself doing it. No, yeah, I do a lot of. mm. Someone will say something interesting, but. mm. I mean, I guess I'd rather you say that than just be like. That's facts like me every five seconds. That's facts is, yeah. I mean, but the thing is, is that everybody's going to have their conversational ticks because there's yeah. only so many things you could possibly say. People will always be pointing out like, oh, Adam always says interesting after people say stuff. You do? I think I do. I notice that as well. But it's like, I just hear, mm. I mean, there's only so many things I can say. <laughs> I had an old neighbor or an old roommate who told me that when I would finish with a girl that I would sound like Rick Ross doing the huh? Huh? He heard you that close, like like, like your so you apartments were that You one of them deep voice guys, I guess. I'm like, like ah, when yeah. you orgasm, like, yeah, yeah. You ah! big bird. <laughs> yeah, you don't really give me like deep <laughs> deep nut voice. You give me like a. I'm definitely more of a like a. Uh, Be like you ready? That's uh, uh, that's. Do you that, know anyone that does like a? <laughs> ah! No. <laughs> 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 are you niggas getting scared or y'all having sex? Which one? <laughs> like you're dropping, like you, like you're carrying a cauldron of water and you spilled a little bit of boy in hot water. Stuff. Da, da, ha, da, ha. Me when I nut. Does cauldron mean like hot water? You know what a cauldron is? No. Wow. You wouldn't have lasted a fucking second in medieval times. Yeah, in, you would have never in, lasted. Interesting. interesting. What's interesting. a cauldron? Mm. What, y'all, are y'all gonna a explain? A cauldron is what a witch is is like cooking her like vegetables and herbs. It's like a and, big uh, ass gumbo pot. Yeah, 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 I've seen this before. <laughs> Josh immediately searches <laughs> cauldron. This is the fastest he's ever Googled anything. I know. <laughs> his family was in the cauldron business. It's so many other his times. His family was in a cauldron business? Yes, they produced Wait, cauldrons are you joking? all over New Hampshire. Oh, you niggas is real <laughs> like oh, devil. Oh, oh, Brown Town. It's been so many times when we needed Josh to quickly Google something. I know. It's like 20 <laughs> minutes later. He's still trying to figure out how to spell it. Cauldron. He had that ready to Hash go. Hash Brown Town lot. cauldrons. Yo, oh, my God. I would like to thank you for Hash Brown Town. Because yeah. now, whenever people talk to me about where I'm from on the podcast, like I, I forget. I, I think I was talking about Bobby Schmurter or somebody the other day. And I, I kept calling it Hash Brown Town. That's where it's from. Wow. But it's like a good, it's like a better, you know, like Adam Grand Mason is harder to remember than Adam 22. Yeah. Yeah. I think Hash Brown Town 
has a nice ring to it. You can't forget it. Didn't like Nashua, Nashua, New Hampshire. New Hampshire. It's like, what is that? It's just a bunch of weird N words mm-hmm. in a row, you know? <laughs> not like that. But. Bro, no, it is not. No. I love Cl- Nashua, Cl- New Hampshire. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. What the fuck? It's a bunch of weird N words in a row. <laughs> this is going to end up on the Jack Shot Clips oh, Instagram. Jack Don't Shot encourage them. Fire. I'm not. <laughs> nah, they're funny, bro. They've been killing it. AD, you want to pee on me? It's a bunch of weird in words in a row. What's wrong with you? No, but I think that's what people hear when I say I Nashua and New Hampshire. They're like, oh, a bunch of random words that begin with N and then H. There we go. See, you maneuvered around. My at favorite that time. thing ever was when I was talking to Big U and he was like, oh, I like that NH. I go, no homo. No. <laughs> <laughs> He got deeply upset. Oh, that is the. That, I want a cauldron now. Yeah, you got to cop one. Yeah, you got like, a nice spot. The crib no cauldron. cauldron? You got to have a cauldron in the living room. The you crib cauldron. It. Just concocting something. What are you gonna cook up? I don't know. Maybe some meth. It sucks that you don't uh, <laughs> drink anymore because I, I, know. I think a cauldron is a perfect place to cook up a tequila brew. And I can have yeah. like a speakeasy. Oh, out the you crib. gotta have a speakeasy. I can still do it. I don't out get high on supply no more. I, like I know. That. Huh? I know. Make some moonshine. Like people. Be blind, you, you know gonna, what I'm saying? You're gonna have niggas fucked up in your crib, falling down them fucking nine, you already did nine it. flights of steps. <laughs> Can we bring Air Dolphin to your crib to grind down the rails on his soap shoes? Who the fuck is Air Dolphin? I was like, the huh? motherfucker with the Jinkos. Oh, yeah, he cool. He Baby, go. grind on me. He's a low key crib. Yes. What do you mean? Yeah. He's a hash down? Kiki put him on. Smack the shit out of him right in the mouth. Did Kiki really smack this, the, the, this innocent white man? No, of course not. Why would he do that? He would I, never. I was like, don't put that on my brother. He's a nice guy. Kiki is honestly one of the nicest guys I've met. I went out and did my promo run the other day with Kiki. Uh, did a bunch of other people's podcasts, and he was just posted up. He hit a who'd fucking you, seven foot bong at some point. Who'd you? Uh, what podcast did you do? Well, I did Dope as Yola. Mm. I have another one. I want. I want you to do with me. Okay, let's go. The FAQ podcast with Fuzzy and Quincy. Who the hell is that? It's just but, okay. fire. Everybody's yeah. going over I there. I know about. Them. Yeah. Oh, you, you don't. Oh, I'm gonna put you on. I gotta put get put on. on. Yeah. In more ways than one. Um, <laughs> I'm extremely, <laughs> extremely excited for the WAC 100 podcast. That's going to be funny. When I, want, I want us to be early on guests. Although, I don't know. Sometimes it feels like if you get on early, it's not as good as if you get on once it's already heated up. But to me, I think WAC is like, he's got to be like top five or top ten people to talk about rap and talk about the culture that can consistently make people give a fuck about what they're saying. Like, I yeah. really, even though Wack is like, hasn't even started his podcast yet, I believe that he's up there with Ak, Charlemagne, Joe Budden, whoever you want to say, like the top people to talk about rap art. Discon- mm-hmm. Yuri, yeah. et cetera. I, I feel like Wack is like, he belongs in that upper tier, for sure. I agree. So I'm Speaking uh, of upper tier, bro, bro, I had to hit academics up. He was laughing, oh, bro. Oh, my but God. This nigga went ruthless, bro. On who? That was on a, fucking on college kid. College kid, bro. Oh, I heard he was saying some crazy oh, shit, but I didn't see the clip. God. I mean, this nigga, I, hey, I hit that nigga up. I was like, you were ruthless. That nigga was like, laugh out loud. What, just because he was roasting a dead guy? Bro, what it, was he saying? It wasn't a fact that he roasted it, a dead guy. He was like, he didn't die from COVID. He, he died, died from, from hater. A, a, extreme haterism or something. <laughs> and hey, he pointed <laughs> out that the nigga last tweet was fucking his academics. La- he, was like, he was like, he took his last breaths, <laughs> his last minutes on this earth was spent <laughs> hating on me. And like honestly, when he broke it down nah. that way, I kind of was like, "Damn!" Hey, I ain't like, gonna lie. You you're supposed to be like, "Oh my yeah. bad," like, like nah. And he yeah. even told his brother. His brother I felt was, bad, was though, saying like, shit to him too. Like he was like, "Listen, if you all keep this shit up, I got pictures of the fucking funeral. Of everything. The funeral. I'm somebody, post- somebody, somebody, fucking secret agent snuck into Scattles. the funeral. But and how took is a bunch that? Of pictures. How is that like a roast to be like? Well, look at the. It's photo not really from a rose, but it's just funeral. It's not really a rose, but it's like that's that's it's just some, ruthless. That's something that like the outside would never have seen unless like academics is secret, uh, fucking spy. Well, you guys got to hit me with the the storyline though. Like what, what? Like I know that they've been beefing for years. No, I know, but like when they tried to call him a pedophile, just recently. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they was really? they were trying to say that, and then. I guess like his he he was going back and forth with them and his last literally yeah. bro's last his tweet, last tweet was fuck academics wow and then he died uh, they were trying to call Ak a pedophile based yes. on what I don't know based on no I mean no proof that they pulled out at least wow 
That's what he was trying to say. And he was like, man, listen. He even offered to pay for the funeral. Okay, listen. I've definitely seen girls who talked hella shit about me die. And, like, you know, I'm looking at it on Twitter and I'm mm. seeing everybody say, like, rest in peace to her or whatever. Yeah. And I'm just thinking in my head, like, no, fuck You're her. Like, who fuck I her. smoke? <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> but I always held it in because I know that <laughs> if I say, hey, fuck her. Yeah. No, yeah. Nobody's going to appreciate it. If somebody it, uh, calls me a pedophile. Yeah, I'm sorry. And, I'm they're dis- and their last tweet is, fuck me. I don't have no good words for you. T- for you. I'm going to keep it But th- this is just the thing. When someone dies. Me personally, I don't speak on the dead. Okay, will you, but, would you would you squash it with the brother that, that stayed alive? But the brother's provoking shit. Oh, yeah, the brother. The brother's still I doing saw it. Axe first comments once yeah. the fool died, and he was basically like saying that they never got along, but Axe wasn't being ruthless, and then he this fool... Said something he even, else. He I even guess. read his tweet. He was like, "Yeah, my brother went down as like a legend." He was like, "No." Yeah. He was like, "When they Google your brother 20, 30 years from now, they were like the guy that died for hating on academics." Wow. He was going in. I just feel like, all right, when when someone dies, like in this example I'm mm-hmm. stating right here, when someone dies, there's a lot of energy there, a lot of like. People are sad. People like, but but there's nothing you can do about it. Like you know, the person's gone. Normally, there's not really someone you can blame it on. Like yeah. most of the time, when people die, it's just something that's out of their control. If you go on Twitter and you say, "LOL, you're dead," fuck you, then all that sadness, all that energy, all of a sudden, it has a focal point that it can be directed to. Now, the difference with this is that it's like. I mean, college kid was like very, very sm- small in comparison to academics. So it's kind of mm-hmm. like it's unlikely that like his their fan base or whatever is going to give a fuck about this. Act fan base is just so much bigger, and they want that shit from. Him. So I mean, I'm not really like saying that it's going to work out like that for he him, t- but for me, every time I've wanted to shit on somebody when they died. I just had to hold it back because I'm like, me, I, 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 can't, speak on I don't want to yeah. make myself the target here. I don't want to. Oh, because that, yeah, because if you do that to somebody, then they can do it to you. Once your Once friend he dies, b- then they can make fun of you. And you can't really hopefully, say shit. Uh, hopefully you like the nigga from Squid Games and you just outlast everybody. You gombo. Gombo. What gombo? You're going to start saying that again? No. That's a <laughs> take. That's a good take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, um, okay, so d- did he have like pre-existing um, conditions that I anybody no knew about? I how he died. I mean, COVID. it was because it was of COVID. All right. Well. Yeah, but like. Bro, I just I can't believe that he spent his last moments on this earth. I know though, that's kind of like, crazy. Like worrying about academics, bro. Bro, that hat is fucking amazing. Thank you, thank you. Why? What is it? So, that shit is stupid. It's a real supreme hat. Yeah, it's a box logo. What, what's on the fucking brim? What's it say? I don't know. A bunch of a bunch of random, bunch shit. of years and yeah, some yeah. weird sports I expect, shit. I expect it from yeah. the hat king. Dude, yeah, I can't believe amazing. this guy. I can't believe this guy Adam be trying to. He be trying me. The nigga says, "Is it a real? What? Yeah, it's not a fake one." <laughs> <laughs> You're not down with the fake. Come cream. on, nah, nah, nah. Come on, man. Can I make an announcement? Yes. Go ahead. We got our retail store on Fairfax. Wow. We're locked in. Congrats, my brother. We're locked in. We got a big ass space right there. Boom. I'm not going to say exactly where it is. I'm not trying to give them all the information Rose right now. Rosecrans in the San Pedro. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> but we got our spot. We're going to be working on it over the course of the next few weeks. <laughs> what, is that like a worst neighborhood ever? Yeah, I mean, yeah. just, <laughs> <laughs> go over there if you want to. Yeah, don't go over there. Don't go over there, Adam. You got to start a store in the hood. I'm not. We're, we're, we're straight Fairfax. Fuck we're, no. We're protected by the. Yeah, you got to be on You got to be on your Nipsey shit and start a, start a store. No, I mean, start a store in your hood. No, bro. <laughs> He's like, hey, shout out to Phil, though. He fled as soon as he could. He got the hell out of there. Hell yeah. yeah nigga, I got, couldn't wait to leave. He no. got a family and shit. I fled Hash Brown Town. Yeah. yeah. You had nothing to worry about. That's true. But <laughs> Except the nigga who you took the money back. He no, was going to get you. I probably would have gone on fentanyl if I had stayed in fucking Hash Brown you think Town. You, you think you would have became a drug addict if you would have stayed there? I think you would have been like the mm. dad from Euphoria. <laughs> Put my dick out. Yeah. <laughs> that definitely is. I don't know what y'all talking about. Yeah, that you haven't seen right that episode? Oh my god! Yeah. It's like the best, That's scene the best scene ever. This motherfucker just lets the whole world know exactly how he feels with his dick out. Yeah, that sounds like you. Bananas! I, imagine I took my dick out right now and no. gave y'all a speech. I'm, I'm leaving Plug and I'm top. suing. I'm yeah. suing. You know, jumper and That's Adam. Not, <laughs> enough about my dick. That sounds like a plug talk. We're uh, coming episode. to Fairfax, so I need everybody out there to get excited because we are going to be opening at some point. It's probably at least a month away. 
But are we gonna do like a store opening like we did the last? We gotta time? do some lit shit. It's gonna be interesting to see what we can get away with in that area because there's hella shit around there. Yeah, that was such a good. We had a great uh, store opening when you moved to Melrose. Yeah, because Phil beat the fuck out. That's of what somebody. I was gonna say. Phil beat the Shout fuck out, out to of... Phil because I seen the footage. My boy got the hands. Oh yeah, Phil was not playing around with that. Wait, what was that guy doing again? Like. He, he was trying to steal a bike. He, no, well, he, he got what he wanted. He was in an ambulance and he jumps out of the like he what? was having like a fucking manic episode or some shit and they had like the things on his chest. The EKGs? I don't know what the fuck yeah. it was, but he runs I out of the ambulance shit. and runs into this crowded bike shop that's full of people. He runs in there, he tries to grab a bike and dip. And so they fucking start grabbing him and stuff. He runs through the back of the store, and then Phil at some point ends up grabbing him, beating the shit out of him. They beat the fuck out of him way worse than you see yeah. in that video. I do remember him getting beat up multiple times. It was a whole. That was a thing. fun day, though. That guy got the shit beat out of him. That was like, but it's weird when you think about the store that nobody really like. There were no real big fights for the most part. I see That's Ve- good. Let's... Vel beat up a couple of fans, chase them down the street, <laughs> smacking the shit out of them. <laughs> Let's keep that Vel, going. Hey, Vel fights everybody, bro, on mm-hmm. that downtown. And you now, see, now he's in <laughs> MMA class. Did you see? You, that's amazing because you, have you seen him the other day uh, beat up that guy, yeah. like that random homeless guy. Yes, in he, Long Beach. He deserved it though. Yeah, he, he just ran up on car. it. He ran you up saw, on his car. You saw somebody car is, is over at the But end. that's so Vel to just fight a random ass <laughs> smoker ass tweaker with a he got a red stripe on his face. He got a green squiggle on his forehead. Like, yeah. Where does he find these people? Bro, it's like it's like it just attracts Vel. If I didn't know better, I would the, think that he was selling crack down there or some shit. Cause why else are <laughs> why are you interacting with these types of people? Like the fades find Vel. Vel doesn't Vel doesn't go looking for the fades. Maybe he sells crack. I Thank, think thanks a lot. Dun dun, where is it? He needs to yeah. sell hands because he he's serving them up That's on a saying. hot plate. He needs to sell hands. <laughs> he's, he's serving them up on a hot plate. Speaking of hands, your team might have missed the big game this year, but my bookie's double depo- deposit bonus. Make sure that you won't. Sign up at my bookie now and use my promo code no jumper, all one word, yeah, to have here. your first deposit matched instantly so you can get in on all the action of super bowl 56 the only way watching the biggest game of the year could get any better is to get paid doing it and my bookie gives you everything you need to do it with double your money you can double your winnings and the best starting point for the big game is with super bowl prop bets whether it's on or off the field there's no shortage of wagers to choose from for the super bowl so get in on the action let the confetti fall and walk away a winner don't miss out. Head to my bookie and double your first deposit bonus up to a thousand dollars by using the promo code No Jumper. Place your bets and get ready for the unmatched excitement of the Super Bowl. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. My cookie. Have you? I was going to say, have you? Has anybody made the my cookie joke yet? Yeah. Yes. Over and over. Uh, and over. Every week. God damn it! I'm always late on jokes like that. Yeah, because you don't come half the time. I'm, that's, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back in the I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. You better stay close to Jason's if you yeah, want to yeah. get some fucking real estate in the store for your shoes. Let's do it. We got to have it. some hats. Can I have my hats in there? What hats? I got a hat company now. What, those ones from Pensacola or what? No, nah, you didn't <laughs> see the one? No. That shit was hard. You make yeah, it? That shit hats? was hard. That shit was hard. Look at this hat. Not available. Your hat. Mine? Him. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> him. We're all looking around. <laughs> Who made you that one? That's a um, good one. I forgot the company. You're this, not available. This one, this no. one is nice and subtle, clean. We don't got a whole movie scene going on on it. I think it's, it's good. It's got some dice on the back though. Well, yeah, well, let me see. This was. Ah, you got this, some, I had to sprinkle in that. You, that, got, that, some, that you got some sneaky dice on the back. But wait, it's from my other company. <laughs> you made that? high rollers too. You uh, made that? <laughs> high rollers. No, somebody made two. it for me. Low rollers. <laughs> Low rollers. I, <laughs> mid rollers. Oh, that's, that's actually kind of tight. Mid rollers is fine. That's funny as fuck. Mid rollers. That's like that's that's like a like a sneak disc brand. You think that Rolling Loud would be as big as it is if it was called Rolling Mid when they came out? Yeah, yeah. like like Rolling Swag. I mean, obviously, obviously, if it was Rolling we, Swag, I don't. They need to, they need to hire people. It would just be confusing for people because they'd be going to buy merch and they'd be like, "Do I really want to be Rolling Mid, Rolling Mid for yeah. the world to see?" I can't Thanks. believe that they they took the festival like that was basically like named after weed and just uh and blew it up, blew that shit. Into preposterous proportions. You going to fucking Portugal or whatever? Yes. You are? Because you know why? Stop. Guess what? That's where our manufacturer is for really? shoes. Yeah. So I got to go meet my boy Diego. I never met. Will Zan. 
No, Diego, my manufacturer. Okay. <laughs> the nigga that I'm breaking bread with. So me and, wow. Di- me and Diego had a good weekend this weekend. So you're going to fucking go out there and visit your factory in between watching Uno the Activist and fucking Playboy <laughs> Cardi perform? Or what's this going to look like? I'm losing mean, another Roly. No, no. Mm. They're going to take that shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking no Roly to Portugal. jewelry at home. Yeah, the Portugal Bloods, they got yeah, you. I you know. got a passport? Yeah, I- what the fuck? He, yes. You've been playing you today. Bro, when have you ever left the country? No, no passport uh, and, went, fake, and fake Supreme hat. I went on to, I went on tour in 2018 and went to Canada. That was the first time I, okay. I even needed a passport. I was about to say Kansas. I was about to say no, yeah. no. That was the first in America. That was that was the first time I ever needed a passport. But um, yeah, I've, I've had the same pass. I actually had to use it today. I went to the bank to go pull out some bread. I didn't have my ID, so they were like, "Where's your?" Um, you know, I had to go get the passport. Right. But um, yeah. Well, I got. I have also another announcement, which is I got a nice new car. Please don't say what kind. And a motherfucker I didn't just see backed it. up into me and Already? fucking oh, yeah. destroyed my whole fucking front headlight. Are you joking? No, and it's gonna cost like sixty five hundred bucks to repair. Why you gotta pay it? I'm not. I have insurance, but like that's what the, the fucking. Fool, I didn't even know you had a new car. The dude from the body shop calls me. He's like, "This is like a five thousand dollar light, and the fucking hood's gonna be at least fifteen hundred bucks." Is it outside? I want to see it. I got yeah. a friend. I can show you. I, I can see. smash it up even more. You can get an even better car. Mm. Wink, get a wink. better car? I don't want to get in on it. <laughs> I feel like joining in on this Crip insurance scam <laughs> is probably not for the best for me right now. Just Man. know I know a guy that knows a guy that knows a guy. Yeah. That's like I was like talking to the stripper girl and she was trying to like get me to do some type of uh like insurance f- like fraud or something. Mm. And I'm like, you know I have a whole business that like everything is like tied back to. Bro, like I just got scammed for the cheapest amount ever. What? What do you mean? Cuz I fucking dropped this fucking song, right? Mm-hmm. And then this girl hits me up and she's like, "Hey, I want to start the twerk challenge for it." I say, "All right." So she was like, Send me forty dollars. I'm like forty dollars for what? Listen, to, to twerk, start a twerk challenge. I don't know. I says forty dollars. Who gives a fuck? Send her forty dollars to Cash App. She says for another twenty, I would uh, write whatever you want on my ass. So I was okay. like, okay, yeah, write AD on your ass then. Okay, you know what I'm saying? And then I send her another twenty dollars, and then she says, I say, oh, she says the video is ready. I'm like, send it to me. She says. It's a twenty-five dollar oh transaction god. fee. Oh my god! Twenty-five dollars. She ran it up on you, I, low key. Bro, but I'm like, you, this is the amount that you want to run it up for. You're happy from getting sixty bucks. Yeah, right. I, I'm like, starting to think <laughs> you should have watched more Fresh and Fit, buddy. Because you, <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, she could have just took. She could have just asked you for sixty up front. You should have. Like, Walter should have popped up on your shoulder. <laughs> like, I don't think it's a very good idea. <laughs> 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 it's a high value man. <laughs> I was just like, a high value man do this? I was like, hey, hey keep the sixty, bitch. Right. Block. Oh my god. Yeah, like what the fuck is why, I don't understand why she wouldn't just ask you for the full sixty. And why would you trust this random bitch too? Who was she? She had ass. Really? Yeah. So you were like, trying to pipe. I wasn't trying to pipe. I was just trying to get a nice. You were video. trying to Western Wiggler. I was just trying to see the A and the D. The bareback Western Splash. It was good wow. promo. You're going to bareback Western Splash? No, no, it was not. <laughs> I'm not available. You Sim- should- <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. That was the smoothest transition. That just sounded like, like something that an LA rapper would do on a track. Like, I'm not available. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounded like a fucking oh. cross at a snowman bar or some <laughs> not shit. Not available. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. You like that? Yeah. That was fire. That's lit. What? Let's talk about how. Once we get the new office and or the Fairfax store open, that we are going to do a fire project to commence mm, to, to christen to. the recording studio. We're going to do an AD and a house phone lock-in mixtape. We can probably do it in one day. We can do it in one day. I say we do 12 hours. We should probably try to not spend more than an hour it's on not, each song. It's not coming out on Poor Man Records, I'm telling you now. Oh, we'll put it on fucking Spotify. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll put it on fucking No Jumper and no. we'll just split it fucking pull, three ways it, or something. Yeah, and we'll we'll get some of the homies to pull up and drop verses and shit yeah, like that. it's easy. I don't know. We just got to fucking like go in and just be hanging out all day. So that way we have a dope thing that we, we can do. We can live stream tw- the whole thing too. 12 hours on stream. Uh-huh. Make a whole tape. You think you got it? Easy. You can write twelve verses in, in twelve I need, hours. I don't gotta write them. I punch them in. Yeah, Ooh. we don't write anything, bro. You don't. You never got stuck, and it just 
takes you a while and just go in? No, honestly, the only time that I ever got stuck is when I was when I was trying to get too fucked up. Mm. When I was too fucked up, like fucking like too coked out, like overthinking, like oh, like what what, what should the next bar be? And honestly, I realized that just rapping sober is easier than rapping for getting fucked up. Yeah, I was honest. having such a hard time rapping when we were in the the studio the other day. Were you? Hey, I'm gonna need you for that too. What? I'm gonna do a whole video. I want a whole crazy concept for it. What do you mean? The shit that we did. The rapping. Yeah. What do you mean? I want to do. I want to turn that to like a real, like record a real song, and then make a video. Me saying. <laughs> Which like, was, I mean, oh, I, you talking about my house? Yeah, I was talking about at my studio, fool. Remember, I made that. Oh, shit? that song. Yeah. Oh, that what fun. you you yeah. rapped on a song? No, he it just made a song and he kept, he kept referencing me like and like talking about Pokemon Go and shit. Well, that song. is hard, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> it you, was pretty funny. Yeah, you need fire. to like like we got to do no jumper related songs for sure. Mm. Like, no, bro, I, I have a whole like. Uh, like Playboy Cardi style song, ketamine uh, and cornbread. The ketamine song that, that it's on the No Jumper. Uh, it's on the the Jack Shack clips. But that's the question: is that, should should a, is AD in some way sacrificing or doing something negative to his career by making funny songs? Does that kind of make you like a little bit weird, Al? I don't give a fuck. You don't. If I was, the case, gotta, I gotta wouldn't be, join No Jumper if I worried about that. Yeah, mm. and we don't got to necessarily make like. And I, I wouldn't even say funny because House yeah. can fucking rap. I can fucking rap. Yeah. We can make it dope. You probably gonna come in and say, ho, 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 ho. But no, let's we, put a dick we, on we it. We definitely need you to <laughs> <laughs> We definitely need you to do like little interludes and shit oh, like yeah. that. And we'll Should I rap? Yes. Ooh. I can I can rap. Uh, I know. AD, I've just never uh, done AD, it. AD House Phone mm-hmm. and Adam 22 uh, Record. If I make my fucking debut on this Ooh. tape, that would be hard. Oh, that's fire. Didn't you like fucking do it like something on X's album? Like I, I just recorded like an intro of me like <laughs> yelling something, introducing X and stuff, but then mm-hmm. that didn't end up actually coming out. But did. it was super close because he even had trash. he had like a track record or a track list that like said like intro featuring Adam Twenty Two, and I was like, I was actually honestly when I saw that I was like kind of bummed because I felt like I probably sounded like an idiot on the intro. But like, obviously yeah, that would have been epic yeah, motherfuckers, as fuck. yeah. I'll fucking. probably still be getting bread off that right now. <laughs> actually, probably not. For that. Life. My na- my voice for is life. on my voice is on the Juice World album. I didn't get shit for that. Why would you? Why did you didn't get shit for that? I mean, they you didn't ha- sign your paper. Oh, you- I, I did. I signed the paperwork. Like I don't fucking care. You can use it. Like I didn't ask about getting oh, money for but it. Anyway. What? Nah, you should be getting some. It's, it's, it's just, you in a 360 it's deal. just a little clip from a fucking interview. It wasn't That's, like so what? It's, it's not like a I, whole skit. It's not like no, I did anything. I would you should be, be getting some ins. Oh, I would be trying to run that up. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I want to be like bugging the fucking family of the dead homies estate. Okay, like, never oh, mind. Hey, hey, all right, all right. I, I need my money off of this fucking. You don't need this money. I need this money. Okay, okay. I kind of feel like a dick. We didn't think about it like that. Yeah, well, I don't know. Oh man! At the end of the day, you you, you should be about your bread, but you know, yeah, but I don't really in certain know. situations, uh, I was honored to have my voice on there, even though I never, you didn't even, you nobody didn't even, ever mentions it to me. You didn't even hear it at first. I had to tell you like that was your verse. That's your voice. No, right I there. think you're talking about the Tory Lanez intro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we got yeah. You just out, you out here. My boy. I was just about to say that too. My yeah. voice was on that, and nothing ever happened. With yeah. That. I mean, that definitely has less streams than the Juice World. Maybe if I sue him for that, then Meg will fuck with me. Wow, if you sue him? I could be on the hot girl team or whatever the fuck her shit is called. I'm trying to... I think you need to pep your step. Pep my... What the fuck is that? (laughs) You never heard that? Pep my step? (laughs) What's that? You never heard that? What is that? That term? No. Put some pep in your step? Put some pep in your step, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I said it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you smoking weed before you got here? A little bit. Well, you should have been because after last week's show, a lot of people have been asking where you can get Big Chief products. Here we go. I need some of this. Hey, fuck that. We got some Uzumaki carts Hot on the Lato. fucking way this fucking week. I need my man Kiki to roll some of this up so we can smoke some big fat wood. We got Uzumaki carts this week. <laughs> okay, Mac nigga. And, that's Mac what I'm and Chief. About. <laughs> Let's go. If you're in the LA area, go to bigchiefextracts.com wow, and thing. click the banner at the top of the page and sign up for next day delivery. If you don't live in LA, but you're out here in Cali, check out the store locator page and see all the top dispensaries that carry Big Chief products like wow. cookies in Woodland Hills, the lemonade, mm-hmm. Van Nuys, and in the OC, check out Mr. Nice Guy. Big Chief is the number one selling vape cart and they now have limited drops of their fire-ass indoor flower. Yep. At dispensaries from Dago to Humboldt County, 
way up in NorCal. Go show your local dispensary. And, uh, go to your local dispensary and show Big Chief some love. Stay Big Chief in and please Chief responsibly. What's, Shout out to Big Chief. And man. if your dispensary don't have no Big Chief, What's the URL he's a bitch. BigChiefExtracts.com? Get back out there. BigChiefExtracts.com. Yes, you can spell it. You know how to spell, right? Yeah, I know how to spell. This the one right here. Yeah. The Mac and Cheese. Yeah, cheese. the that Mac and Cheese. <laughs> that's the great, that's the best name. Yeah. With the cheese dripping off the top. <laughs> this is super fire. Here, let's, let's I'll be like it. approving these designs. We got Wagyu Truffle. Ooh. The Wagyu Truffle. Jesus Christ. Smoking dope. The Mac and Cheese was going to look totally different than this. I and said, then, pull the plug. And then yeah, we, got, yeah. we, got, we got Triple Scoops also. Don't forget the Triple Scoops. Triple Scoop is like the, that's like the highest legendary right there. That's the shit. That right? was, that's oh. the best one for my, my that experience. That was the Triple Scoop. This, this, this is like, you feel me? This is this is my speed right here, the Mac this and Cheese. This Wagyu truffle looks crazy, though. Like yeah, just that's the just pack, good, too. That's just the good. packaging alone looks nuts, man. What a, what a great brand name, because when you go to the fucking restaurant and they put the truffles on your food and they charge you like 14 bucks yeah, to put exactly. a little sprinkler shit on there, shit. that's the kind of Way you want people to think about your weed? We're well, we charging fourteen hundred bucks for it. Fourteen hundred. So, for AD, can we talk about your dramatic situation that ensued this weekend? Hell yeah, we can talk about what happened, nigga. I fucking um. All right, I'm gonna say this, and everybody out there, take care of yourself. Do not play with your fucking health. I was always afraid of the fucking doctor. I never wanted to get no shots or something like that. I ain't had a physical in like 15 years. Shut the fuck up. I swear. So all the fucking drinking, all the late Mm. nights, all the crazy shit I didn't did, like for the last, I would say, three, four months, I've been feeling like a little little weird. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And um, it was getting worse. And I was like, man, something is fucking wrong with me. Mm. You know what I mean? I tried to sleep it off and shit like that. And then I ended up uh, talking to my auntie. My auntie, she's a medical professional. She says, you know, the doctor thought I had a TIA the What's last that? time I went to the doctor. It's like a, a mini stroke, but it doesn't do no permanent damage. At first, I thought you were talking about your Tia. What the fuck is a Tia? That your auntie. That's your aunt in Spanish. Oh, oh okay, Especially because okay. you were saying, you were talking about yeah, your yeah, aunt. Yeah. And you didn't put it in all caps. You, you had a lowercase in the, yeah. in the chat. No, nah, but she said, you know, I told her that the doctor thought I had a TIA before. She was like, how you feel now? I was like, well, I feel like shit. I said, I ain't been eating a lot lately. And I'm like, my fucking uh, sleep schedule's been fucked up. She was like, you need to go to the doctor right now. And I was afraid. I'm trying to go to, I need to do the same. You need to do it, bro. I'm telling you. Nigga, she took me to the emergency room, bro, on Sunday. And, bro, I was in there. I was like, man, listen. I said, they was like, all right. They gave me stroke tests. And when they were giving me the stroke test to test it, I I didn't tell them that I broke this arm a long time ago. So this one was like a little weaker. So the lady, they was like, oh, this arm is a little weaker. So they were like basically putting it in my head that I was, you know, possibly had a stroke. So I'm stressing out in the motherfucking doctor and shit. And I'm just sitting there. I'm like, damn. I told them, man, check me for everything. They give me an MRI. They did fucking the full blood work panel for me and shit like that. And I'm just sitting there, bro. I'm in the MRI, bro, with a fucking mask on, bro. In this little ass space. I'm like, oh, man, I done fucked up. And I'm just sitting there waiting to get fucking bad news. And the doctor comes back and he says, yeah, your MRI was perfect, nothing is wrong with that. And I was like, what about my blood work, doctor? Said your blood work was normal. You're healthy as you're healthy as hell. I was like, what? I couldn't fucking believe that shit. Wow. I was so happy that I didn't even go to sleep that night. So what what got you in the hospital yeah. then? They said it was a side effect from my blood pressure medication. Oh. And they also said my blood pressure was was getting back to normal as well too. So really? you didn't really need you don't really need to take the medication no more? But it's the, it's they're gonna switch out the medication, but I do need to get my eyes checked. I'm possibly gotta wear glasses. So they said that's probably why I've been having certain vision changes and shit. They said it's not nothing to do with my blood, nothing to do with my brain mm. or anything like that. Wow. But just having that I'm like, yeah. I would never play with that again because some people wait until it's too long to go get themselves checked out. So you know what to look for now at this point in regards to if you start yeah. to feel that way again? Well, a lot of that, too, is anxiety, too, that over the years yeah. and time that I'm thinking something is wrong with me. I'm sitting there putting pressure on myself like, damn, something is wrong with you. And I'm just not saying nothing. So the anxiety of it just kept making the shit worse. Every time I think about a bad health condition and then, bro, do not go to motherfucking Google. I'm going to Google. Oh, I'm bro, typing in my symptoms. you scared as fuck. They like, 
tumor, brain cancer. I'm like, oh, yeah. oh. that's the I'm worst thing you can do. I'm sitting there stressing the fuck out. So it's I'm, not a tumor. It's bro. When they told me I had perfect health, I was like, what the fuck? That's I couldn't believe it. All the fucking drinking and shit I did, my liver was fine, all that. But right then and there, I said, man, I can conquer the fucking world, man. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's why I don't understand. I keep having this problem of me uh, like falling over, like my balance being fucked yeah, up. Yeah, what's going on with you? Is your fucking leg like numb or it's some not, shit? No, I mean, like, it's not really numb, but like, I don't know. It's just like, I'll be standing there and then like, it was just like my leg would just give out or something or like. like is, is it a stop. diabetes thing? Yeah. I mean, it, like, is a it is a diabetes yeah, thing. I was looking, and, and no, but also it, that might be from uh, from me having COVID too. I was like, that was, that was one of the symptoms I was reading. Wow. Is uh I don't know it's just like it's like my my like balance just all together is off like I don't know and you ain't got no blood work um the last time I did that they said everything was fine like I they, but they told me to go to my primary doctor which I don't have so I need to go you need to get, get that. that I just got one like literally I'll go to him Thursday yeah like yeah. I want to like where'd you go like like I was thinking about just literally just Do you have health insurance I want to go I'll hook you up with the shit please yeah. Cause I need I need the insurance and I need the doctor. I need but all. But you of can that. like go to the doctor. Probably you can do like a good amount of visits pretty yeah. cheaply. The things that are expensive is like once you need surgery and shit. That's when yeah. you end up racking up a big fucking bill. You should I get just, a, you should get an MRI too just to make sure your brain is good. Well, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. I just don't. Um, but that should MRI is expensive. I think unless you have insurance. Yeah. I just uh, would just like I don't know. I, I think I should just go to Kaiser and just figure out all that shit at once. So like, your blood work. Minus the diabetes, they said it ain't nothing that's like no. fucking you up. They didn't okay. give me. They didn't give me any type. Are of, you still partying? I on New Year's I definitely drank, and then I probably drank one other time after that. But I had to go. I had to go back to the doctor. When after. we were doing the Twisty P interview, you told us that that was part of the reason why you were late was because you were getting fucked up. No, I was just joking, honestly. Oh. Like I literally said I was joking, and Blasi. Oh, that would have made me mad. Blasi was like, oh, okay." Like, I thought you were serious. No, no. I, I told I told Blasi I was joking. He tried to he tried to do like the like the you know homie that like is angry at you thing and I'm like I was, about to say, I, I was about to say I'll be angry at you I'm like bro relax bro he was like he was like you're over here falling over and shit I'm like bro I've been falling over for like yeah. a couple weeks I haven't got it checked after out after the yet. stairs I was like yeah so I'm like homie. nigga relax like right but no nah, I, mean, I mean I appreciate I appreciate the homies like you know like Karen but I'm like bro at the same time like like y'all don't gotta y'all don't gotta like be that upset or like be micromanage yeah, like yeah exactly. you and shit yeah, yeah exactly. it's like that's not really gonna help matters not probably. at all yeah especially because if i if i was like you know feeling those temptations and and i did then i think i wouldn't tell y'all and mm. so like it would just be it would just make it worse if that's it, how it is with sky Bray. what I, do you mean like I, I can tell she's doing some crazy shit but i don't want to like really i i don't want to like Scolder, <laughs> you love you love like <laughs> you know you love having like these type of conversations on. It's camera. crazy because when I told you this before, you was like, "Really? I never noticed it." Yeah. Well, and sometimes I, I just want to know like what she's out doing and stuff because she'll be tweeting about getting cream pie and all this shit. <laughs> and I, it's like your little lamb. I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> like, oh, like I want to like reach out to her and be like, "Are you sure that the cum that yeah, got inside right? of you is not going to get you pregnant yeah, right or, now, or, or whatever? like give you a fucking STD?" Or but something? if you if you really like scold her or like worry too much about her getting nothing in or whatever the fuck she'd be doing yeah. fuck you dad she's just not gonna tell you yeah exactly that's so what, it's kind of like you know yeah I, I love that you comparing like my health problems to sky Bree getting nutted in i think they're both pretty similar <laughs> plugtalk.com i think there should, be, there should be more overlap actually if you end up in the hospital again i think she should go to the hospital and, and suck your me. dick for only fans that would be fire actually that would be I, such a good way I'm for you to get lie. free top <laughs> <laughs> sympathy they be like this, bro. I'm telling I'm not, you. They say what? I'm not gonna make it. I have I have ten hours left. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing that can cure me is some head right now. Sky. Anybody around? Anybody around Sky. right now? Bro, this phone really needs some time. When she came, <laughs> when, when she came, when she came up to me and asked me about a certain rapper and we were at Rolling Loud, I looked at her like she was the dumbest bitch I ever fucking encountered in my life and just turned around and walked away. Why? 
I just couldn't believe that she came up to me like I'm her home girl. It was just a bad rapper for her to ask. It was about? just like, why are you coming up to me asking me this? I'm not, you. I'm not your home girl. Oh, like, but you were like, you, you felt like, oh, like I don't want you fucking with anyone else. I want you to fuck me. No, I'm just Duh. like, no, not even now. Yeah. I'm just like, why are you like, why are you asking me this? I'm not your home girl. Uh. Like, just you know, why, like, bitch? I fuck you. That's what you do. You act, like girls will have like a gay friend <laughs> and they ask the gay friend about <laughs> guys <laughs> that they. been you the whole show. Uh, it was Thanks all done up to this. No yeah. passport, and you were the gay friend of Sky Bree. <sighs> I, got, I, got I got a fake. I got a fake Supreme. <laughs> Every bad bitch got a gay homie. That's so true. Jenny sixty nine was just in here, bro. Jenny she got a gay 69. homie who's helping. Did you her? ask him to film, he, co film he, content? He was no. hold, he was holding the the Louis V purse. So you're right. That's I what did I'm saying. See that. Hey, Paul, Bye, Josh, Hughes. look. Oh my God! Yeah. Josh taking out a glizzy over there. Holy shit, did, Josh! Did, 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 that's why we need more that cameras. Nigga gay, we, we need nigga to be able to gay. switch to the angle nigga of watching gay. Josh nigga gobble gay. down. What is that? Nigga gay. What is it? Chicken bake. A chicken oh, bake. Costco. Them yeah. was fire. You got hey, a no, chicken bake. That's my favorite. Like. Shit I see on TikTok and Instagram. The song that you said? No, it's like this. Like what? Which when one? they eat like a glizzy or something. Like a gay the, black oh, that's what it is. They were like, they were like, dun, 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 that nigga gay, nigga gay. Is that what you said? Gay. No, no, you gay. said a different yeah. one. Nigga yeah, you, gay. You, you want to hear? Her? Yeah. <laughs> Say it. I've been a play it here. It's we had a good one the other day that was like black guy with some crypto. I forget what? how it went. It what? was, a, it was like the song was called like black guy with crypto. I forget how it went, but it was pretty okay. Catchy. Here, no, no, no. Play it. I'm gonna pull the other this. one up. This Pause. is fucking hilarious, bro. Soy la 69. Okay, this guy. Okay, keep. Okay, keep. <laughs> keep in mind, this guy is like Indian. So. Bro, I see the. I, oh, I see the fucking. Uh, I see the name of it. <laughs> what is that? What does that mean to him? Like. Okay, that's, I don't want to get claimed by his fucking label. You think he has a label? You know he on TuneCore. <laughs> you know he You're got right. created music look, group. Look, <laughs> look, this is a song I'm playing. Look, yeah, hold he's on. CMG. Yeah, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Adam, look. 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 Why does that sound <laughs> like you? Fuck. Why does that sound like you almost? <laughs> that don't sound like me. Like your voice. What is that? <laughs> it did sound like you. Why are gay black men all the rage these days? Huh? I mean, both well, of those songs kind of. A, oh, well, yours wasn't a gay thing, but his is gay. I'm a black nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that dude, and what made him think he could make that song? He no, did. the title is terrible. <laughs> it's the black he's like, er. In, he's like Indian, so like I think he thinks that like, like that's like a good thing. Mm. I think he doesn't understand what he's saying. Me and AD had a whole conversation, and he's like, "I was in the ER." I go, "Did you see George Clooney?" He goes. What? I'm like, yeah. George Clooney was on ER. He goes, George Clooney said the ER? I go, no, George Clooney was on a show called, called ER for like 10 years. He's like, wait, George Clooney was in the ER? And we just kept going back and forth. Josh, Josh is over like, this. Josh he was like deep, genuinely super confused. That was, that was so funny. I was like, man, funny. fuck the George Clooney over here saying ER. But you fuck with him, but you don't even know that he was on a show called ER for like a million years. No, no, no. I wasn't even born probably. Did you see? Did you see? Uh, That's not true. <laughs> did you did you see did you see when that when that guy and the Mel and, Gibson let us down already? Did you see when that guy and the girl was on was on new the news and they were talking about that show you and the girl was that confused. That shit was so fake. That, you think that was fake? That, that shit was, was fake. fake. Was, we already ah, talked about that on this podcast as well. It, but really? I, that shit fake. But after Mel yeah. Gibson, it was over. You see, remember what he said? If you get raped by a pack of niggas, it'd be your fault. Huh? That's what he said. Mel Gibson said that. He was like he was ranting to his fucking baby mama. It's classic. Why was he? No, nigga, no, it's no, Mel Gibson. No, no. Gibson. Don't put that on Liam Nielsen. Don't put that on Liam Nielsen. Nielsen. Is he dead? No, he's okay. not dead. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Josh is fucked The up. nigga from Take It, he's what, not dead. What beef do y'all have oh. with Liam Nielsen? <laughs> I thought... Y'all niggas put No, Liam Neeson's the guy from The Naked Gun, right? Yeah, that's Leslie Nielsen. Oh, Leslie my God. Nielsen. He said the N-word. No, what was the black lady from Ghostbusters? Leslie Jones. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, now y'all just going too <laughs> We're so far away. Y'all just saying it's too <laughs> deep. <laughs> like, <laughs> Why y'all putting this on Liam Nielsen, bro? What about Bill Murray? He says, I'm a house nigga. <laughs> he did? <laughs> yeah. what, what show was that in? I forgot. You ever seen Caddyshack? 
I seen Caddyshack. You gotta watch the Caddy, golf, the golf shack. Watch Caddyshack on Twitch. The, the part where he poops in the pool on the turd. The I, don't remember, I don't remember. I don't remember. No, it's though. a Snickers bar floating around in the pool, and he thinks it's a poop. That yo, to, you got you gotta like you gotta microwave it a little bit first, so it, it gives. Bro, a oh, you always gotta microwave the Snickers you bar. You gotta yo. hear. There's like eleven of them. The voicemails. Mel Gibson left his baby mama. Oh, I do remember that. He's back like, in the you day, make huh? me wanna smoke. You but make me wanna ruin my day. What did he do? What did she do to him to for? Man, he was going crazy. He said, you got your fucking tits out like a little bimbo. <laughs> if you get raped by a pack of niggas, it'll be your fault. He Bro. said, a pack of niggas. Have you ever been this angry at your baby mama? No. That's the part that always stuck with me is that he thinks that there's like packs <laughs> like, like, like they're wolves <laughs> like running around <laughs> and <they're laughs> raping white like, women. She's like, I want to go to jacuzzi. You need to blow me. I don't know if I would remember any of that shit if it wasn't for that pack. Mental image. Have you ever been that it's mad? It's eleven at of them. You she got a lot of brand for that too. No. Has Lena ever pissed you off anywhere close to that? No, honestly. You no. ever call Lena the N word? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> you and that Parker nigga. I'm losing my mind here. <laughs> Definitely not putting that on Parker. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Parker, man. Parkisha? Hell no. Parkisha. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, watch Park it. You know who Sharkisha is? No. You never oh, heard of Sharkisha? Oh. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you I kind of do, but then I'm. It was like a fade or something. Like she right? socked the fuck out of yeah, somebody. Yeah. Right, right. So I was like, Sharkisha. Sharkisha. Yes, okay. What about Shovel Girl? Oh, Shovel my God. Girl. That you was don't know the Shovel crazy. Girl? That was one of the craziest That fades was a white of all trash time. fight, so AD don't even remember it. The one, one white girl running after the other one, she throws a shovel and hits the other oh, girl right in the head. She threw it, not even like hit her with it. Like, yeah. I wonder if that. What, what is like the impact would be harder if you just swung it? Hey, get off your fucking phone. I'm getting my topics ready, okay. asshole. Look at your tick. All right. I have topics. I'm like, yo, you're texting fucking fat girls from the OC. <laughs> where, did you, where did that come from? It's just a general assessment of your character. <laughs> that was funny. I'm not going to lie. Okay. That was a good one. The, the Go truth hurts. Um, I, I want to say. <laughs> we know the truth. We put a man on the moon. Um, I, I want to say that along with. The fact that we are opening this store and that we're opening this office. And you're opening your asshole. And I'm opening my asshole to all passengers. Uh, that I, I, We really are going to need to hire some new people to be holding on the store, uh -oh. helping be creating content out of the store, people who want to be personalities in the vlogs, in all the content that we're making out of the store. So now is very much a time where if you feel like you – have something to offer, either in terms of like helping be a producer or helping to be an on-camera personality. If you want to be part of the No Jumper thing, if you are in LA or want to move mm. to LA in the near future, like very near future, Josh at NoJumper.com, we are going to be oh, going God. through. Oh, this is going to be a shit show. It will be a shit show, but we are going to be spending a lot of time going through video applications. Do not send us a fucking strongly worded email telling us how great you are. Paragraph. Send us a five-minute YouTube video mm. of you explaining. Of you jerking off. You can in, in, include your resume. <laughs> this might be considered in, uh, offensive for some people who are trying to hire us to make jokes about yeah, jerking off, you asshole. But uh, we're looking for people. So make a five-minute YouTube video. Put it on Unlisted. Send us a link. Josh at NoJumper.com. And we will be going through everything. And, uh, yeah, we're, just, we're trying to find some more faces who can help uh, us uh, hold down all these new things that we're taking on. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I, over this last year, just every all the new people that have been on, it's like, it's been really, it's, it's been a good thing, man. Honestly, like, I could just, I could tell you are a lot more happy with what's going on around around the office we're moving you know? in a good direction yeah man. once the mess left his brain you start working <laughs> t-rail has two successful podcasts that have already came Fire. out t is killing it like man. 150k Fire. on each of them or some shit and he got another one with joe moses is dropping soon i think people really? are really fucking with Fire. him i think he's 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 leaning into the interview thing and i feel like he's and he's give, him, give him the saturday slot I love it. That's Saturday fine. slot. Yeah. Saturday afternoon interview. T-Rail interview, interview Saturday. It's like That's Saturday morning fire. cartoons. Mm. Yeah. Are you guys even here on the weekends? I thought you guys no, closed. we just put it out on Saturdays. I'm, about mm. to say, I'm here five times a week. Uh, I ain't doing I'm no sure Saturdays. Man. Fuck that. Hell no. Fuck okay. It. Oh, I get it. I get it. Put it but out that is Saturday. That's the kind of thing. Is the store... The most important days are Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, that's, that's a fact. That's when shit's that's really cracking. difference, yeah. So I'm going to be spending like a lot of time there and stuff. Just fucking... We're going to have the, the most ill streaming setup and everything. Like, we're going to... Like, our back area at this spot, as opposed to like the old spot, where the back was like basically like a prison cell with a podcast yeah. studio in the corner, our next shit is going to be fucking like the best 
chill area imaginable. <clears throat> was it that one that you were showing us in the group chat? Like the the spot? Yes. Okay. We got it. Fire. Crazy. Fire Going off. Man. Right down the street from Sorella. Oh, we're gonna be there. Bro, I I love watching fucking watching their family channel now. You yeah, watch that? Bro, all the time. Why don't you watch it? Yeah, it's honestly very... I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm like watching T-Rail and Heather like shop for like flooring and like... Yeah, you and think like, that's something I should be like, worried about? Like win yeah. window seals and shit. You like, think he would watch my family channel videos? Yeah. I would watch a family yeah. channel. Why? That's creepy. Leave me alone. Why? Me and my family. <laughs> I have a fucking family channel that I just don't really give a fuck about that much. Like, I, I like being a dad. Like, I want to see what Parker is up to. Yeah, it's cool, but like, I don't really like... Like, she's like my kid. I was like, do I really want to like be working on a video while yeah. hanging out with my kid? You gotta do it like Michael Jackson, like how he had blanket. I don't want to treat my kid like the way Michael day. Jackson treated kids at all. <laughs> that was not true. No. Nah. You want to be dangle? You, you want him to dangle blanket? <laughs> <laughs> dangle <laughs> Parker out of new no jumper off? Me. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Although she does love being upside down. I notice that whenever I hold her upside down, she's like, ah. I can't believe you made such a cute baby. I can do anything. <laughs> you can do anything. I can do better. You want to know uh, what I did today that was a crazy ass experience? What did you do today? Jerk off. And what are you doing? You're just opening every single bag over and over and bro, then closing it? Bro, it smells so good. Oh, just love that big cheese. That big cheese. No, it's just, bro, I love to smell weed. Mm. I love to smell weed more to smoke it. You should just burn a pile of weed in the corner of your room. Like sage. I think it's going to burn the whole house. Down. Throw it in the cauldron. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> interesting. I thought you were supposed to put liquid in there. No. Yeah. Okay, let me tell you guys what happened this week. Sunday. Lena's hanging out with Parker. We're, we're all in the living room or whatever. Parker just... Bleh, she starts Throws it. blasting vomit. Like, she had just eaten raspberries or some shit. She's blasting, like, throwing up so... Like, I've never seen her throw up like this. Like, obviously, they spit up when they're a baby and stuff. She don't really do that anymore, mm. but... To throw up like this, I haven't seen that from her yet. And it was bad. It happened like a bunch of times. Then all of a sudden, this morning, 5 a.m., Lena fucking rolls out of bed. Blah, she's fucking blasting, puking shit. They got some weird ass virus. I apparently don't have it. Fingers crossed. Who knows? But so today we had a plug talk shoot scheduled. And yes, you are fair to back away from me, but also stay close to the mic. Um, yeah, you projectile vomit on me. I quit. I'm not going to projectile vomit on you, but if I do, you're going to be kind of turned on. Anyway, I today. I don't want to be sick again. She bro. hits me up in the morning. <laughs> you're vaccinated now. You're good. Um, but it can't, it, I don't think it's COVID because I was throwing up. Or I, not me, but them. Are they vaccinated? Yeah. Well, not, of course, not Parker's Parker, not. But, yeah. Yeah. but she's not boosted. And neither am I. You can't just stab your baby in the arm? I don't think no, you, don't do that. You can shit. vaccinate him hella young for COVID. I right? think it's over. I think it'd be four or five to get it. Right now, it's under five, but in the next yeah. couple months, it'll be like six months. I want to vaccinate months? my child at birth. Yeah. yeah. As soon as she comes out. Even before she comes out, stick a needle into the belly and just vaccinate whatever the hell I get. I get my second shot tomorrow. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. No, six months early. You're I'm not getting booster. a booster. How They're can doing you, too much now. But the logic of getting vaccinated is the same exact logic as getting boosted. So what's the point? Of, I don't get it. Okay, it's, like, wait. it's like, what's the point of getting a car if you then have to get I'm doing just on the enough car? that I can go into anything I want to. Okay, look. So I feel like they're gonna. They're, a lot of places are already asking you to be boosted now. Okay, this is doing too much now. Okay, look. So I just so I just had COVID, right? How long am I supposed to wait to, so I can get vaccinated? Like a month or something? No, I think it's two weeks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into it and make sure. I don't, don't want to fuck myself over and be sick as fuck again. I, I, should, I didn't have no side effects the first one. He's talking about when he got actually sick. Yeah. When you got, you got vaccinated, you didn't get sick from that, did you? No. Some, but as I say, some people get sick. Yeah. yeah. Some people vaccine. get it. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't get it. I was waiting for something to happen. I was like, come on, nigga. Nothing <laughs> happened. Just staring at your arm. <laughs> <laughs> come on, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Anyway, okay. So the reason why I told you about the whole family puking and everything is that today, after Lena pukes, she fucking oh, says Lena to puke. me, she says, yo, are you down to do the plug talk scene without me? Because I hadn't, uh, you know, she she like, it was, it was an extra situation where the girl almost fucking bailed on us. 
on to so on had, Monday, so and Lena was to. like, like, kind of made a big deal about it, and the girl was like, okay, okay, I'll, I'll make sure that it happens. So like, we had just been putting the pressure on her to make sure that she didn't miss the shoot. You can't be putting pressure on. Suck a dick. <laughs> we already have, we had the fucking filmer and the audio guy booked. I don't appreciate when I'm people. Sorry, but that's what's you. fucked up is that in the porn <laughs> world, when when people bail on you and then you bitch about it, people treat it like you're like a fucking pervert. It's like no, I'm just playing. I around, have to bro. pay the filmer and the audio guy either way. You asshole. No, trust me. Listen. Either way, we made a big deal out. I of it so you. the girl did come through and then she says to me like are you down to do this shoot yourself so for the first time in how long since me and Lena started dating it was such a burden because i never one. cheated on her in the early days of our relationship i had to fuck a girl without her it was and such a burden yeah. it was terrible it was terrible it was so hard for me you were crying as no you were offense. Getting, yeah ah. oh yeah yeah that's what i'm gonna tell her i was crying <laughs> I was crying, babe. I missed you so much. I was crying. I can't do this again, babe. Please don't oh. put me through this. Please, babe, please. It was actually super chill. I didn't mind. It was no big deal. No, trust me. I, I, I feel you because that's basically what happened to me when I was doing the photo shoot for High Rollers. And I had I had these girls uh, booked and they end up flaking. And I had to book these So you had girls. to be we, your we, own bad bitch. We keep having this machine. conversation over and over. I know, but I'm saying I understand. Every, we, every week. I'm just saying I understand now, like, you know? Nigga, yeah. fuck you. We no, talk that, about porn every thing, week. That exact thing is the conversation that we've had like yeah, three no, times now. I know, I know, I know. No, that's cool. Hey, yeah. when I talk about porn, I bring new situations with yeah. porn to the table. Yeah, and true. Custer. True. I'm out here. <laughs> I'm out here. I got I'm out here fucking scenarios. bitches every day. <laughs> But it was weird too. How though. often? How, how often are you fucking girls? Like, well, we drop one a week. So, so you just. But I it. didn't. I didn't film anything all of January. So now, all of a sudden, we kind of got to get on our grind to get. You had a, a bunch of built up nut in there waiting around. Do you no, have like man. special vitamins you do to prepare? No. Damn. You just like, I know, huh? If you have any, let me know. If you have any like jizz vitamins. Before I go to Kazumi's, I'm, def I'm definitely. Doing something. If you open a store in Compton, you should definitely sell jizz Why tablets. Why do I always have to open a store in Compton? <laughs> I just think it'd be cool. That's your tick. So are you we, put me, you are put we me. actually going to Kazumi's birthday party on Saturday? Yeah. Should we really put... You're going? Oh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> if Josh shows up in a gimp suit with nipple clamps on, I'm going to leave. Hey, keep it G. If, if, if Josh was hypothetically to smack somebody, are you telling your sister? Hell yeah. <laughs> Big snitching. <laughs> yeah. Oh. She's my blood. I got to tell her the truth. I mean, at least you admitted it, though. I'll probably make him tell her. I don't want to be the one telling you gotta, her. Like, you got to, like, fight him. Like, yeah, yeah, gonna, yeah. How you going to make him but tell But that him? is yeah. fucked up, though, because if I cheated on Lena, then he absolutely is not allowed to tell anyone. Because he is not related to Lena. That's true. Isn't that wow. weird? Wow. I feel like. I didn't even think. Not that I'm going to do that, but yeah. don't you think that blood really is, like, the thing that is. Blood sticker than what? Technically to, speaking. Blood is her semen. family. Yeah. He is her family? By marriage. Yeah, by marriage. Okay. And also, No Jumper is a family. We, <laughs> we are a family. We don't fuck each other. I mean, realistically, I deal with him way more than I deal with my sister. So you basically are more locked in with Josh. But okay, also, I, I'll say this. I have friends, like close friends, who are married. Mm -hmm. And I know that they cheated on their girl at some point or another. And they didn't get caught. You wouldn't. You wouldn't and, tell them. And one of them, like one of them, I remember he came to me like really, really serious. Like, do you think that I should confess it to her? And I was like, motherfucker, no. Take that shit. <laughs> what did he I do? Said, Take that shit to the grave. How? Like, explain. He the was story. on a work trip. He's married. He was on a work trip. He, he, he ends up fucking. Her, yeah, right. He fucks a random girl, and then you know he goes back home and his life is back to normal. But it was haunting him. And he said, like, do you think I should tell her? I said, motherfucker, hell no. Yeah, you're tripping. I'm like, you're if you want to ruin your whole life, I said, then you're yeah. selfish if you tell her because you're taking wow. something that she doesn't have to know about that there's realistically almost no chance that she's ever going to find out about. And you're confessing. Why? Like, like be a man. Fucking yeah, hold right. on to your secret. <laughs> I like no, that. Man. I mean, don't you think? And honestly, <laughs> as much as I just said the exact opposite, that is kind of how I would feel with him, even though he's married to my sister. Is like, nah, your sister, you got it. But she would be heartbroken, and it's like, why? Like, why, why does she need to know? <laughs> he's like, you son of a bitch. Don't you you're, think? Like, you'll never be behind a computer again. I, I think sometimes lying <laughs> is the more empathetic thing to do. Yeah, you going to banish yeah. him to Hash Brown Town, you do it? Yeah, you have to move back to <laughs> Nashville. You got to work at Bailey. You got to grow your dreads again? No. I 1,000% agree with that. I that. just think sometimes people... Have you ever had a girl who like confessed cheating, and then you real and you're like, well, why the fuck do you don't tell black me? her eye? Why'd you have don't to tell me? Like you fucking, you could have easily kept this a secret. 
I mean, mm-hmm. like something, something about me in the inside is like I appreciate you being honest, but like I, I don't wanna know. Yeah, but actually, I don't know if that describes how I feel about my girl. Because if my girl cheated and didn't tell me every day or week that went by, would you just be would think about more it. and more anger building up. See, once I did find out, like if I found out and it was three years ago, I would have three years of anger that I didn't even be, know would existed. Would you beat Lena if she cheated on yes. you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Of hey, course no. Not. But that's like this girl I know, right? <laughs> I know she cheated on her man, and I was like, "Would you ever tell with him? you?" No, with me. <laughs> Look, allegedly, um, and I'm like, "Are you going to tell him?" She says, "Yeah, when we get married." I said, "So wow. you gonna wait? You gonna wait to y'all to get married to what tell if they him don't get married that you sucked another nigga dick?" Wow, that's fucked. That's, up. that's like, fucked up. That's like selling somebody a car and then being like, "Hey, there's sugar in the gas tank." Hey, this thing don't run. Yeah, right. It's a like, lemon. You just bought it and be like, hey, it has 60,000 miles on there. We didn't tell you that. Yeah, that's the last time I would want to find out. That's like, oh, look, I fucking fooled you. I got you into this contract. <laughs> now it's legally binding. You can't fucking leave me. Or if you do, that's we have like to break the, the wor- contract. That's terrible. That's the worst time. It's fucked up. He don't know. They still together. You should tell him. Do you think he would care that much? Like, it was just a little dick suck? It oh, wasn't nothing It was nothing more crazy. than that. Oh. oh. Would you be willing to tolerate any level of cheating? Nah, can't do it. None. Would nah. you just think about it more? Honestly, like, honestly, too. If even if we broke up and you fuck somebody else, I couldn't take you back. I'm gonna keep it G. Really? really? Even if it. you break up. Even if, if you break up. If y'all broke up and it's been what two months in into y'all breaking up? Nah, can't come back. What if she gave a hand job, but the cum went directly into the ocean, so it's like it wasn't even there? Why did it gotta be the ocean? <laughs> Hand it's job, more like a hand, drain. Hand job, I can possibly Whoa. forgive. Whoa! Hand job, okay, okay. All but right. if you suck another nigga levels. dick, got, it's yeah. over. If you suck, oh, it's but done. what if it's like a fire sloppy? You gonna, you gonna take blah. her back after somebody didn't drizzle her face? I'm not with it. Oh, no scribbling for sure. No. But so a hand job, what if it's a wet double? But, but like, she didn't got drizzled no. before, like way before. It doesn't matter. It's once you once you dealing with her, you feel me? If she leaves, that. you know what I'm saying? If it is what it is, you can't come back. You think the grass is greener over there? How about this? Go over there. What if she Stay got up. eaten out? Because mm. isn't that some boss bitch shit? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, eat my pussy. But would you even believe her if she said she didn't suck his dick as well? I believe it because there's a lot of niggas who out here who yeah, would just really it's eat There's a the lot pussy. of niggas that are just willing to just throw some top and not receive anything. But how about. mad would you be picturing another dude eating your girl's? Clam. I mean, that's not as bad as her sucking another yeah, day. Yeah, it's really not. Still seems that's bad, different. Though. Like, bitch, you got on your knees. You want to come back over here? Nah. Getting eaten out is personal. Not as personal as it, it, her bobbing and weaving. Mm, I don't mm. know. Because, like, you could suck a dick and not enjoy it. If you're getting your pussy eaten, that's pretty much only for the purpose of you liking it. The, more, mean, the more you like you're cheating on me, the more mad I am. But, okay. but then you the know? nigga can't I sit there that. and brag. Like, who, who brags? Like, oh, yeah, I ate her uh, pussy. Like, nah, uh, nigga, nigga, you smack, you got the head. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's different. That is definitely gay to be like, yeah, I eat her pussy. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> she wouldn't let me fuck. Like, she just let me eat it. But I was cool about it, and I ate her out. I'm like, loser. <laughs> <laughs> You're that dude, though. No. You're eating some pussy with a girl who's in a relationship. Who, oh, me or him? <laughs> <laughs> you, too. You got a girl who's in a relationship. Doesn't you eat a little songs booty? on in the background? No, but I've had, mm. I've had situations happen where... Me and the girl didn't work out, and she tried to come back. Like she, she tried, just, to, she tried to work I, it, it out. Was just, it was just one. It was just one. That was one too many. Oh, uh, mm. hell no. God bless you, queen. Really? Yeah, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Wait, fuck that. How, what, what was the time period? That's like, the real question. Cut three, four months? Two, three, three months? Three, four yeah, months? You, like you can't expect her to get one pipe down? The whole thing is, is if we part ways in the first place, I'm taking that shit as permanent. Yeah, I, mm. yeah you know exactly. Yeah. Now, but you can't do a round two on the relationship? I'm just saying this is me personally. No, I felt you. I feel I'm, you. I'm just saying this is me personally. I have an old family friend, rest in peace, Clem. And I remember rest him telling me. Rest in peace of Clem. But I, the, How did Clem pass away, if you mind me asking? Old age, basically. Uh, but I remember him telling me, because this was a guy that I like worked for when I was in high school. Okay. I would help him out around the house and stuff because he's in a wheelchair. Mm. And I remember him telling me that him and his wife had been married for however many years at one point, And then they broke up, divorced for, I don't know, like five years or some shit. And then one day, they get back together. And he told me... And this was like the most impossible thing for me to believe in the world at 18. He told me that when they got back together after being divorced for like five years or whatever, how long it was, 
that they didn't talk at all about anything that they did. You know, nothing about their sex lives was discussed at all from while they were apart. Now, in my little, like, jealous 18-year-old brain, that was, like, impossible to fucking comprehend because that was exactly what I was thinking about. Is like, well, what the fuck did this girl do while I was apart and stuff? But hearing him tell this story, I was, like, an older guy who had already kind of seen it all, done it all, and he's in a fucking wheelchair. He's clearly, like, in the latter part of his life at this point. I just realized, like, they realized that they were in love and they fucking didn't care at all about that and they didn't even feel the need to discuss it. And I was like, well, that, yep. that's some real shit right there. Damn. I fuck with that, though. Yeah. But that's later on in life. But you're a young egomaniac. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To keep in track of how many dicks your girl sucked. It's a story I want to tell y'all so bad. Just say it. Check I the can't. Carfax. Hell no. Come on, man. No, I swear. No, Just good. do no, it. When you make him tell these kind of stories, he ends up being aggrieved about it afterwards, and he's all pissed off. Uh, kind of. Come on, man. Bust one. I can't. I Don't can't. air yourself out. Uh, no, yeah. make, make the players different. No, I mean... And, 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 and it's also because it's going to be airing somebody else out, and I'm like, ah, I just don't want to. Well, do don't it. say the names. Give us. A, <sighs> fuck. Ain't nobody going to. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you off camera. I'll tell you off camera. Say no more. I'll tell y'all both off camera. Y'all going to be like, what? So, are you, so you with that, bro? If, if right now you and Lena were done and she got it cracking two, three months, you taking her back? If we decided later on that we wanted to, I'm, I don't think I would be like, you know, I would think it was kind of weird if we were broken up for three months and she didn't fuck someone else. What mm. if it was with the euphoria guy? <laughs> well, congrats, girl. Because you got the yeah, one you wanted. The one you what wanted, the fuck are you coming back to me for? <laughs> you, you and Angus go have fun. Uh, that's his name? <laughs> Angus Cloud, yeah. That's his name what? on the show? Or his, oh, yeah. His name hey, in real life? Angus, no. watch your back. He's Adam, Fez on the Adam, show. Adam is after you. You you really like the dad from fucking Euphoria. Yeah, Adam, oh, Adam finna yeah. clap this nigga, bro. <laughs> well, no, but I'm going to be like him because he almost killed Angus. That's what I'm saying. No, no but then it, Angus beat the shit out of him. No, his homie, his little guy did. The little nigga. Yeah. Wow, man. That show's so crazy. You got to watch it, man. You got to get up to I'm, speed. I know. I, like, what do you watch? Trapple or Ross? No, literally. You watch YouTube I videos? watch YouTube all day. I do half and half now. I like, because I spent so many years just like binge watching uh, fucking, what's the? Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad and like all that other shit like that. When I think about it, the, around the time that we started No Jumper, I started No Jumper, I guess, because it was pretty much just me. I, uh, <laughs> well, it was for a, for a long yeah, time. Yeah, it was it literally was. just me. But I remember. And your iPhone. Yeah, that, that like, there was a uh, fuck. I know. What were you just saying? It wasn't me. Uh, uh, we were talking about uh, binge when watching When you started. Shit. Oh, in the beginning. Like my hip hop appreciation was literally just like me and the homies sitting around every day after we ride BMX, and the only thing that we would watch on TV was rap videos. Yeah, exactly. So like the Playboy Cardi videos from that era, me and Began probably watched those like a thousand fucking yeah, times for... because we would just be sitting in the living room smoking weed, watching rap videos. Like we watch bike videos, and in between that, we would watch rap videos. Yeah, and that like, was it. Because like. Began. Cause like who would really be sitting there with like all your homies and shit like trying to like watch some deep ass yeah, show? You can't and watch to like... Mad Men because you're not gonna be able to follow along. Hey, when that show was fucking people. great. Yeah, I watched like the first like seven seasons. I watched the whole so. thing. I gave up bro. at a certain point. Yeah, I watched the whole thing. I no, hate. I... The, I feel guilty about the shows that I watched and didn't get to the end. Like I gave up after like two episodes of the last season of The Sopranos. Nigga, what? no! I just gave up. That has the most controversial ending. I watched of all it two time. times. I watched it when I was like eighteen, and I watched it like and you never two seen years ago, and I never made it to the end. The wow. ending is like the most craziest ending of all time. I've heard a lot about it, even though I haven't personally seen. You it. either hate it or you love it. Hated you love the it. The dogs on top. top. <laughs> And he's going to shine until his heart stops, which from the seeming, from the looks of it, actually, don't that, know that, that's gonna that heart is kicking. It could not be for that long. We don't know. Don't that heart, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> you got to stay out of the hospital. This nah, is on you. I'm glad you went. And I'm glad that your fucking auntie got on your, yes. down on your ass. Bro. We need both of you guys to stay fucking healthy because. Hey, you know. I, I knew, I just knew that blood was going to come back like, nigga, you're fried. And it didn't, right? Nothing. Yeah. 
the whole no jumper team when you think about it if we were all walking in somewhere we're gonna look like the fucking the, the toxic avengers. avengers or some shit the where toxic we're avengers. gonna everybody's falling apart house phone's dragging his leg <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking keeling over and having a heart attack t rail swinging one arm <laughs> wow! the doing i was obese i got oh fake my hair God. besides that's, that i'm that's fine your, that's your thing is having fake hair that's your thing it's the only thing i can think of you can't yeah. control your sexual <laughs> urges yeah. around people I can't, he's just walking I can't, around I can't, I got a bus. I got a bus. I got a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> you walking around is fully erect at all times for no. Oh reason. God! You ever seen Robot Chicken? The ro the robot who always fucking the trash can. No. You, oh, you gotta watch that. You ever watch uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force? Yes, of course. You, you fuck with Carl? That's another great Carl. Mm. I, didn't, no, I no. wasn't. I wasn't into that it's show. It's like Cal that. on Euphoria. My bad. No, but I used to fuck with that Cal? Carl character on that Shake. Bro, that show was so. I used to I watch that know. show. Over I didn't and fuck over. with it like that. I was more in the South It was Park. weird. It was very weird. Oh, it was so good. Uh, Super Jail or whatever. No, Super shit. Friends. No, no, I'm talking about oh. the, the jail. The Super jail Friends. Show. You've seen Super Friends? That's like the new fucking uh, Cartoon Network shit. It's fucking funny as hell. You know, hell. I watched this show that I don't think nobody knows about. Gay porn show? No. No. It was called Moral Oral. I think I know Gay exactly. Born. It was the nigga. Uh, it was the the kid. Yes. It was the kid and his. Uh, yeah, I know exactly. And he would always be about. praying, but it'd be yeah. like around it a bunch of crazy cr shit would be yeah, happening. More oral. I can't believe you just tried to play me like I wasn't. Nigga, I don't know nobody swim. who knows that. I'm the adult swim goat, bro. bro I know everything. When I said Timmy the Tooth, nobody knew what that was. Uh, well, I don't even know. <laughs> See, that's okay. what I'm saying. Up. Yeah. Timmy the Tooth, the cavity goon, bro. the sweetie, bro. See? <laughs> Moral oral was crazy. ass You didn't know about. Soila 69. Ooh. 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 Bro, them melons were Ooh. juicy. Shout out to Riverside. My brother. <laughs> Shout out to Riverside. Oh, I did see that. She got a Tijuana BBL. Is that good? That's I where, don't really know. That's where, mo that's where most girls who not trying to like spin that, spin that, spin that crazy bag in Miami, that's that's where most Why of them go. Why you got to go to Miami? It's right here. You go to Beverly Columbia. Hills. They got top-notch doctors right yeah, here. It's cost top-notch top money. money. Yeah, it costs like 20 racks or something. You could go spend like five or seven Everybody racks. Everybody got a dub to throw around at them. Some Bro, people got four. If you're getting a BBL, you should be able to casually make 20 grand off it like the next day. I agree. Probably Yeah, not, but... but uh, Put that ass on plug talk. But there are girls, as we've discussed, getting BBLs and then going for to work no, at Staples. So. No, literally. For, I'm like, bro. Like, they don't I, even have tips there. Ow. Bro, look. This girl. This girl. Uh, she might be watching, too. This you, girl. He's, he's so scared of, of, of snitching on these nah, bitches. Nah, nah. I'm just. I don't want. I don't want to throw myself into it, basically. Mm. So anyway, um, do this it. this girl hits me up and is like, yo, like, can you can you pick me up from LAX? Like, I, I just went to TJ and got a BBO and I thought she was playing. And then I went to go link up with her. I, I linked up with her like weeks after, right? And I look and I'm like, God damn, like you was you was not playing. Like you really went to TJ and I'm like, I know, I know that it was like it's kind of sketchy because she was in so much pain and like just all bruised up and all that shit. And I was just like, bro. Oh, it's bad. Like the recovery from that shit. Like you, you see the girl with the fake ass in the club and you think it looks great. Yeah. The actual recovery is fucking in. She was a, when we she, met Kazumi, she still had to sit on a fucking she thing. She still has the butt pad. It's yeah. been like eight bro, months. She has to bro, sit on she, the butt thing. This girl was still like out drinking with me and shit like that, though. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to be doing that at all. No, that's bad. Really bad. You could die. I was hoping she didn't die because it looked really nice. You wanted to smack. I still didn't smack. If so. she died, if she died now. I don't care. No, I, I just kidding. But couldn't you see him smacking it? Like if she yeah. died, he'd be like, oh, "All right, man. <laughs> you want them? <laughs> well, I could smack for like five more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's still Yo, hot. You are out of. You ever fuck a corpse? Be honest. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I quit. I quit this shit, bro. It's okay. just a question, bro. Would you? No. You're okay. like, hey, Lena, this would be great footage for the Adam and Lena before <laughs> Plug Talk and Plug right? Talk. Maybe you die, and then we bring you back to life. Okay, look. So, look, this So th this is my plan. My plan is to get to Kazumi's birthday so early mm. that nobody else fucks her yet, and then I'll fuck her <laughs> first. She told what me about I'm about her boyfriend? Yeah, you're going to walk up to her boyfriend and be like, listen, I'm, I'm trying to first. fuck your girl. Wait, I thought I thought she was I'm giving, Tyrone. I'm going to fuck was your wife. I don't know. I, I think well, you thought this was an open invitation for everybody yeah. just to fuck her? It's yeah. not just that a straight game. That she was for her birthday? Yeah. She's going to be like part of this big performance piece and shit. She Josh, might let you Josh fuck. Josh has a whole uh, breakdown. She, she might let you fuck, but I don't know for sure. Damn, I thought... 
I thought this whole time that like they had an open thing where she was still fucking other niggas. Like she's just gonna sit there and it's just like, hey, well, she everybody. talks about getting gangbang. I don't know if you're on the gangbang list, but I, I asked her, could I go first? And I she got said, to yeah. smack with a condom, so I figure you could probably smack. That's what I'm saying, but I'll, I like. I don't want to smack with everybody. I want to know how many girls are going to be at this fucking party because it's such an obvious content making opportunity for are me. Are they all fucking? Mm. Probably we, not all. We, but I know a friend yeah, who may want to go. All. What's your refractory period like? You nut and then how long you got to wait before you can get another boner? It depends on who it is. If it's Kazumi, right away. If you got yeah. some honey? If it's Kazumi, I'm going to just leave it in and keep going. That honey is what landed you in the hospital, don't you think? Yeah. I need to lay off of it. <laughs> you really think we gotta stop talking? We gotta stop talking. <laughs> Too much honey. Hey, I also want to tell everybody that if you donate ten dollars or more right now, we're gonna be reading your dis- your donations in like a half hour towards the end of the episode and whatnot. So just want to throw that out there. What? So you're going? You're going for sure? Are you? Are you bringing Lena? Yes. No, Obviously. I'm gonna leave her at home. Get out of here. I'm going to the gangbang without you. I mean, yeah, that's. <laughs> I mean, you just said you just said you smacked the bitch by her, by yourself. I yes. feel like maybe should. he's poisoning Lena just. <laughs> He's doing it every week. Oh, you can't, he got, you can't he, film again. He gets I have sick. to go. I have to hold Sprinkle her down. some fucking glass in her food. It's like Malcolm in the middle. He, his fucking uh, wife, he wanted her to stay thick, so he would like put syrup really? in her water and shit. What? Yes, nigga. That's and shit. Syrup in, in her water? He was make, she was like, why do I keep gaining weight? He's That's just trying so to make fire. her plump the I didn't whole know, time. I didn't know that, that they were... Uh, Malcolm in the middle, classic show. I didn't know that that they that white people were into thickness like that back then. Oh, we are. Really? We love thickness. I mean, I thought you were a rare case of just well, not not no more, but That's why I got you guys working for me. Uh-huh. Oh my god. A couple of thick bro. Well, because we because we bring, we can bring thick we're, bitches we're, around. We're a thick pack, huh? Thick pack. No. The thick pack. But two C's on thick and pack. That could be your group. I made it. <laughs> that's you guys' group. That that's what the, the table be called. The thick I, pack. I made a song. I played for AD, uh, but I said I, uh, I was like spelling out fuck, but I said F U C C, and I was like I hope I'm, I hope I don't get in trouble for saying this. Nigga, we was cheering you. Always like, yeah, because yeah! I don't want to. I don't want to say C with the other. But letter. what about you on No Jumper Exposed when you're like, yeah, I'm a crip. I was playing around. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Like, I'm a crib, you know, I'm from Doty Block. Uh, no, yeah. that one you were playing. The way you said it, he's like, no, nah, I'm in, but I'm, you know, I'm just kind of. No, I'm, okay. You're going to ask me to delete that. No, I literally was about to. <laughs> I swear to God. I was just about to say, can you delete that? Like, literally. Josh, Ooh. delete it right now. He was like a ham on everything crib. It's like different. Yeah, you, know, different. Bro, you don't got to get put on. It's just like, oh, you got a blue hat? No, no, right, no, no, yeah, no, you're no. You got to You got to leave it up, bro. All the phase that I, that I caught in high school when niggas thought I was from. The Yankee place. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like I I, I got an honorary uh, underwear honorary put on, <laughs> bro. Maybe we should call Big U. Um, no, no. no okay. Okay. I was on my Twitch last night and they donated to see my first fucking video, bro. Oh, I would first. love to. It's Wait, so bad. What year are we talking, music video? bro? It was ten years ago. Uh-huh. I bro, I had on a USPA uh, vest, bro. Oh no. With a V-neck no, under it, bro. It. No, you did it. Bro. <laughs> terrible, you the Uspa, bro. The Uspa? Bro, it was terrible. No, it's bro. weird for me when I look at like the old photos of you back then because it's on one hand, I'm like, yo, his drip is terrible. But then also that <laughs> was like, that era. Was, like, I mean, the, drip back then. the yeah. clothing was just bad as fuck. Bro, like, I, I had a fake Louis belt on. I thought I was doing it. Damn. I don't look at like 2010 era fashion for most people and think like, oh yeah, no. they were they were killing it. No. Bro, it was bad, bro. I had a I had my fucking MacBook with the speakers i had a dented speaker in the video too <laughs> i was drinking bro, almost you want rocking last of, kings no nah, i couldn't wear it no bro speak oh yeah yeah, yeah. What a hater. i know why i know why that's why he can't wear it yeah yeah he but it. no but <laughs> yeah, bro fucking ad's new video man we gotta talk <laughs> about this nigga tried to blow me out the water pause what the stood hat? out to you about it what, bro what do you mean he had nigga he had a scene where he had a thousand hats on him <laughs> at one time he invented that he was on stream that one was day so he was hot as fuck he put like eight hats on that was, oh yeah yeah i did do that with sunglasses bro. that was one of the best that was, one of the, that that was, was one on the tuesday show i think That's, oh okay yeah, yeah bro that was one of the hardest the hardest scenes in the video i ever seen I bro appreciate especially because we got this weird hat beef so i'm just like oh wow he went crazy it, it, with that what made me feel good is when you came over and you was like Oh wow! Uh, yeah, like, I was like, that's the reaction that I wanted. <laughs> like, the yeah, yeah. It was like, like even from pictures and videos, it was like seeing it in person. It was like, damn, this nigga going crazy. Cause it's like, cause even in pictures, you you got something that you can't even fit all in one picture. Like you, you just. Do you think we should sell hats at the store? 
Nigga, I just said, put my fucking hats in the store. <laughs> no, nah, but I mean, like, you a piece of but shit. some, like, tight hats, like, some, some cool ones. <laughs> I showed you the what hat I had like, coming out. It's some cool ones. <laughs> I ain't seen it. It's crazy, too, because my partner sat on my episode last week and just sat here. He didn't say one fucking word. Really? Yes, bro. I was like, bro. Isn't that weird when that happens? I had a rapper do that to me the other day. They brought a, they brought somebody on the interview with him. Didn't say a fucking word. Check I'm it like, out. What? Oh, these ones. NoRapCaps.com. Okay. I have my second drop coming, man. How many of these... Like how much is he selling for? So oh, he's selling for one seventy five. Jesus Christ! And and and, and we're making a good money. Maybe we could sell some uh, moderately priced hats mm. instead no, of this guy gouging his fans over it's here. It's not gouging because you have to. So for you don't get the the new eras from discount. No, okay. not you, at all. You have to pay regular price for the for and the especially new eras. If you get in like you know nineteen ninety three world. Yeah, series. I could definitely see how it would cost a lot because you're buying the hat for what like forty bucks, like no, 40, 45, no. 50? Bro, really? If you if you had, I mean, this one is fifty bucks. And at then least, the yeah. stitching and like having to put it and do multiple different stitching and stuff. Like, what's it going to take you? Like, you have to do it. You have to pay a digit a digitizing fee. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. To digitize. They have the to make the it. They have logos. to do all that, and you you have to pay a, a high rate. So you're paying for somebody else to do it for. For you, but like Brian Sebastian and all them fools are like doing they it, do it by hand. hand. Brian Sebastian yeah. is drawing and then and then and then studying by his help. By, right. This shit by is hand. like you have. They have to make this shit in the computer. They have yeah. to stitch it. They have you to know do how many everything. You know how many times at like three a.m. I was at the homie's like uh, shop where he embroidered shit. Nigga and Nick, I, and I have to be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, and like, like forty five minutes a hat. Yeah, for real. Forty five minutes for the just, embroidery just to make one. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ, that's yeah. crazy. But that's why people. That's why all this shit be so expensive. And they have they have like. A whole it's bunch of the same machines Adam. and stuff. But I love that we keep finding new things to talk about with hats. I know. Every every week, bro. It's just like porn. We find new ways to talk about it. <laughs> That's real. Same shit. I'll have something else for you next week. <laughs> Pause. A new a new girl that you fucked next week. Who you who, who you got next on your uh on your plug talk? Angela White coming up uh, in a couple of days. No, you she already, already had a huge, he knows who she, she is. She already had a huge no jumper uh, interview, but yeah, she's yeah. she's a legend. She's been in the game for a long time. She's from Australia. Did you fuck her, fuck her, or you just titty fucked her? No, I, she had the huge titties. Both. She had the huge titties. I saw those. I did both. Cause. Oh, that's the that's the melon lady. No, that wasn't the melon one you sent today. Melon lady was nice. You seen the one that I sent you with the, the chick with the tits on the table right here? That's I ain't gonna lie, they was saggy, but they was right. <laughs> those those were not set. We're talking about the girl that was just on my Twitter. Nigga, the, the one, one that you just said she was standing right chat. here. The motherfuckers was like, "Those are the opposite of saggy." Were, she has the biggest fake tits ever. I love them. I'm not saying they're, they're, they're not saggy, bro. They're like bulging out of the fucking skin. Well, okay, we'll Wait, say they're bulging. You were here. Uh, nah, I no, see. that was me and T. Rel did those together. Mm, oh, whoa! So I have T. Rel out here cheating on his girl by uh. doing <laughs> Patreon episodes <laughs> with me. <laughs> You're so out of. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, shout out OG you know. Suicide in the building, man. Oh, OG Suicide in the building. That's hey, somebody that's... needs to make a compilation of every time we shout out. <laughs> hey, he should post that. That would be fire. That shit. That'd I don't be fire. put it past Jack Shack clips. They're capturing everything. Yeah, Jack Shack clips. We need Jack Shack clips to go back to when when OG Suicide first came to now and just make a compilation. There's nothing it like a nice a, fan account. Yeah, it wouldn't be a Tuesday without him walking in. Yeah, yeah. honestly. My Adam Twenty Two fan account back in the day though started scamming people pretending to be. <laughs> <laughs> he, How did I you let him that out? He got like two thousand followers. All of a sudden, he's ripping people off. And then I fucking walk into a show in in Texas. I'm with fucking Maxo Cream and Trill Sammy. And I walk into the show, and this fucking weird ass white kid is standing right there, and he just goes, "Dude, I'm Adam Twenty Two fan account." And I'm like, "The one who was scamming him. everybody." Yeah, he's like, "Yeah." Him. I'm like, <laughs> "All right, bro, just." Just know this guy that me and Adam had beef with. I seen him uh, George. at a party, and he like told me that who he was, and I was like, "Nigga, I should beat your fucking ass." Like he was like, "Hey, what's up?" And I was like, "Nigga, I should beat the fuck out of you." Like, and I, I didn't. You know, we had a long talk, but I should have beat the fuck out of him. I don't know what you're talking about, but yeah, I should beat his ass. Yeah. Um, you want to know? A should crazy beat everybody's thing that happened ass. To me the other day. I'm I'm watching. Uh, there's a YouTube channel called Innovators that uh, interviews a bunch of up and coming rappers and shit. Oh, they got like the little rocket kind of logo. Yeah, yeah. And so, okay, there's an interview with I guess I'll just say his name. This dude named uh, Mitchell. And okay. I still don't know anything about him, but he fucking it's it says in the title name. Adam Twenty Two Beef. That's one of the things that they talked about Click in me. the interview. I never heard of this dude in my life, so I'm like, what the fuck is this? I click on the shit. And I fucking, luckily it has timestamps, so I go forward to the part where he's talking about me, and he's basically like, they're acting like everybody watching this should know about 
what he apparently did that I didn't like or some shit. So I'm I'm super confused. He's just talking about it like, yeah, you know, Adam Adam seen this shit that I did and he didn't do nothing. So, but I know he's seen it. And rah, rah, I'm thinking, no, I definitely no, did not did see not. it. So I fucking go to his Instagram and I look at what he's talking about. He went to Melrose and I think that he didn't realize that I didn't have a store. So that if he showed up on Melrose that he was just there was not going to be yeah. me there. Uh -huh. And he had a fucking jacket on with a big ass painting of me on the jacket or some shit. I, oh. And he's like, I don't know. Apparently wait, I was wait, supposed wait. to know about this because he fucking tagged me in it. I get tagged in like 5 million fucking yeah, things like a day. like the guy that hit me up about you today. And I'm like, nigga. Some I wrote him. I said, shit. who the fuck? Bro, I, watch this. I got a crazy one of the, today. I was this, uh, While we on the subject. Somebody sent me this shit, and I was like, what the fuck? Anyway, I was just very, very confused. Don't read that fucking message. No, 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 no. Not the message. Re Listen to this. What's up with you? Why you have me blocked? And nah, don't be like, he probably got to do something for him to get blocked. Nah, bro, I didn't do shit to you, bro. I'm a fan. I don't even want to say a fan, because you know, we're all fucking... Fucking famous, and you're like, oh, just me been doing this. Bro. See, this is where I have security, bro. <laughs> because people are weird uh, as fuck. Uh, like, what is this nigga saying? This dude on OPX. I mean, you cool and everything. Watch your practice, but when I see you in real life, I want not take a picture with you because I don't know. Bro, it sounds like Duno. Bro, this nigga said, you think you can beat me up because you a crip? You probably can, but you just beat me up. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck? I was like, what? Who are you? I've been around a lot of people on Xanax in my day. <laughs> yeah. I will bet my bottom dollar that that guy is one of them. How much would but you But people always be hitting me up like, hey, you know why you're, Adam is mad at me. I'd be like, who the fuck what are, the you? Fuck are you? I don't know about? the niggas he introduced me to. How do you think I'm going to know you? This motherfucker put Adam22 beef in the title of his interview, and I didn't even know who the fuck it was. I think it was a producer or something, too, so I'm extra offended by the idea that I'm supposed to know about this. That's the one thing that's tripped me out about having a fucking store again is just like realizing I like thinking that, yeah. I am going to have to fucking move carefully because there are psychopaths out there just like they're... I used to have to deal with it every fucking day. You, you had know? stands yeah. like that? Bro, are you joking? Hey, Adam, <laughs> you don't answer my phone or call. Stands, <laughs> for real. Like, no, I, for real. Motherfuckers would show up and post up with an amp across the street and just rap. Like, fuck Tyro. I'm not even outside of the store that's or whatever. Why you gotta, bro, that's why you gotta watch, like, because you, your ass be getting snappy with motherfuckers, bro. You gotta watch <laughs> that shit, bro. Yeah, you do. For real, because, like, some motherfuckers will be sitting around just waiting, like, Man, that nigga Adam. That nigga Adam said not right now when the I asked answer, for a picture. The answer is not to be nicer to people. The answer is to, to be meaner. have more guns and to be more aggressive towards weird people. Uh, I, I agree. I feel you. It is what it is. Some, sometimes people deserve it, but like, you know, it's like, bro, this, this is what we signed up for. So like, you know, my problem is that. Like when I'm in that environment, is that I'm just like really not tolerant of like people Anything. being weird. Yeah. But like, there's a lot of weirdness in that environment so you got, when you're so you around got, the store you, and shit. You got too much, uh, too much to like. It's cool as long as it's like a reasonable amount of it. But then like at a certain is point, is it ever a reasonable amount? Yeah, I mean, somebody saying hi or whatever is like, yeah. oh, let me take a picture. That's a reasonable amount. But then it's like. That same person then like lingers around for like the next two hours, and then when you go in back, they two feel hours? like they should be able to come with you and shit, and they're like up too much in your space because to to a lot of those people, they feel like oh, this is like my one chance to like be around yeah, this but kind like, of thing. Jesus, though, that's kind of like that's that's kind of like the origin of Twisty P. Honestly, oh my god, how, how, how good a time did you have with that? Honestly, uh, <laughs> it was it started off a little slow just because like. I, yes. I think he wasn't comfortable yet. But then he opened it wide mm. up. <laughs> Had, did you watch it? Or, uh, they, they, I didn't watch the part that you guys did after I left, but it's like by the time I left, he was hitting it. Yeah. Like He was really hitting us with some knowledge. Did y'all both do the video? Yeah. Me, him, yeah. and, the ba and, uh, and Blasi to start, and then Baba Lamb came in for parts of it. Yeah, like It should have been a Thursday show. No, nah, I didn't want it to be a part of the show. I it was an interview. It. Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> Twisty deserved his own interview. It was its own thing. And now everything that we drop, the comments are just, where's the Twisty P? Are you joking? Where's the my Twisty nigga, P? they got on my Twitch and said, when is the Twisty P interview drop? All the comments. I on said, the, I don't know the fuck. I the guarantee fuck is you, I guarantee you, Bobby Schmurda, if he's read those comments, is wondering up. who the it's fuck is. It's on there right now? But he, he's wondering, the Bobby Schmurda one? Yes, yes, because he's wondering who Twisty yeah. P is because there's a large percentage of the comments on the Bobby Schmurda interview are asking where Twisty P is at. Are you joking? But I also have another Crip Mac interview that I got to. 
drop, and I don't know if I'm really wow. like who should drop first, Crip Mac or Twisty P. Let me know in the chat. I mean, you know, Crip Mac has been on here plenty of times. That's true. We went live together yesterday too. Did yeah, you? that shit was funny. I had you. I had one of your old homies in here the other day, and I revealed to him that you did a song on Crip Mac, and he wasn't very happy about oh, it. Oh, he wasn't. He was. He called me. He was like, "You get, you get DP." He's like, "Tell AD, I'm gonna do a song with it." <laughs> Whoa! I, I never heard AD have, uh, having no beef as of recently. So, ooh, he avoids no, it's not beef. Oh, it wasn't. Beef. Okay. Like, he's just, he's just talking saying. about like the people that he's supposed mm, to okay. not get some, along some, with. Some big homie, little okay. homie type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, I felt that. I felt mm, that. Yeah. Big chief, little chief. Why be the big homie when you could be the big chief? Wow, that's my that's my line that I just came. Shout up out with. to the big chief and the big league. Ooh, you in the big chiefs? You know, I never I never really had no big, no 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 real big homies until I until I. Start coming to No Jumper, man. And now you Who's got Josh and Phil. Y'all, all y'all. Damn, for real? My big bros, yeah. Damn, I was having that big conversation bros, the other day. Status. I was doing an interview, and somebody asked me, do you have a mentor? Like, who's been your mentor? And at first, I was like, You're like not no. really. You had to think about it? But then I thought about it, and I'm like, honestly, I would say Vlad is the closest thing mm. that I have to a mentor in terms of somebody who was clearly further ahead in the game than I was, who really like helped me gave me a lot of advice helped me take steps faster that i wouldn't have you know like really showed me the biggest thing he showed me is that you can do content and that's cool but the system by which you do content is the most important thing like it's not about just like doing some content and then hustling running all over the place to get it ready you have to refine the system so that you can make more content once you have your system in place so that was the biggest thing that vlad taught me but uh yeah who's your mentor Mine? Yeah. Master Splinter. Bill Cosby. <laughs> Is it Bill Cosby? He put you on the game. <laughs> I think it could be like a combination of, of you know, people. I'm definitely your mentor and big homie. Yeah? I'll take it. I've I mean, never like really even tried to give you advice, but I, I, yeah, not at all ever. I would give you, I would <laughs> give you a, uh, I would give you mentor shit right there because yeah, you put yeah, a yeah. battery in my back for content. I tell you that all the time. I'm yeah. also your gang mentor. No. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah, cross the line. <laughs> no, I, I I can see that with you because you 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 are kind of coming in a little bit blind in terms of the content. So it was a uh, you you basically been at like content Harvard for the past couple mm, of years I'm for sure. Harvard. Getting the the no the the upgrade because I never did content like that. Yeah. I would drop a lot of songs. I wouldn't do a lot of visuals. I wouldn't vlog. I wouldn't do none of that shit. And I'm mm. like, this is some of the most important shit. Yeah. Of just filming everything, having that shit. So it's like, I wouldn't have did that shit if I ain't fucking come here. Yeah. Bro, I had never done none of this. I had never even thought about doing any, anything like that until this nigga Adam called me, you know? But even when I met you guys, it's like the idea of like making content and how big a deal that was and how important it was. It's like, I never, I, it took me a long time to really like mm -hmm. realize. And actually, that's another thing that I really thank Vlad for is that I remember like when I first got to Melrose, Vlad came and picked me up on a rainy day and we went to a fucking Chinese restaurant together. And he's just like telling me shit. And like, one, like he really like talked about his content because he, you know, has done interviews that had a chance to age for ten years, mm -hmm. and so his viewpoint on like how important content could be, you know, like, and I, I've had that experience yeah. over and over. Where you interview somebody and then they pass, and you see that content just become like a blueprint for people understanding and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like he had that Cardi B shit like super early on. He had the girl who said that Tupac fucking raped her or whatever. That whole Whoa. situation. Like he's done serious like hardcore journalism in terms of interviews that like when you really think about it that that content is worth so much to so many people down the road you know and that yeah. like once you really realize how valuable content is especially like you yeah. just said like after someone passes and stuff like that that's like the first thing that's the first thing people go back and look at is like whatever they could find on them yeah i mean even even i do that you know Bro, like when sad frosty died if you like what what is the better way to understand who somebody was than to basically watch an interview with them. Of course, their music is a thing. Mm, yeah, weird. but even... A but lot even of music has really nothing to do with what a person yeah, is really yeah. like. I'm pulling you know? up with sticks. I'm in here. Yeah. Like, you know, like... Would he, you... What do you think people will look at when you ah! pass? Nah, don't, don't speak that I me. can't even mention that you will one day die. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm an old-ass man. That's huh? offensive? I it's love not, how you just no. pick different things to get offended by no, every week. I just don't not speak offensive death. is this. Oh, yeah, my yeah. name. I'll you can't that. talk about what, it, like a hypothetical about when you one day die. The power Nigga, of the I tongue do not, is, is, the power is of hard, tongue, like, Exactly. I don't know. I don't play with, I don't speak death on my name. 
so you think that me mentioning that you will one day die is going to make it more likely and that I'll you will be, die and, soon? And, and I'll be an old ass man. I'm not speaking about Nobody's death. denying that. It's a hypothetical situation. I just don't speak on death. I understand I both of y'all. We talk about death on here every fucking week. What are you talking about? I'm talking about? about on myself. I, yeah. I feel like the energy is real, and yeah, you can put that shit in the air, and it can happen to well, you. Well, I guarantee you. You can talk about me dying all day. It doesn't make <laughs> don't it more do like, it. It no. doesn't make it more likely I'm going to get in a fucking car accident on the way home. Yeah, don't say that. I just refuse to believe that you actually believe this fucking mumbo jump out of saying Why would I? I fucking because it's basically right like witchcraft that you're describing. No, it's not. And it's not no cold. So either. you think that just talking about something makes it more likely yes, to happen? Yes, the power of the tongue. Manifestation. Manifestation. The first time I ever went to jail, I spoke that shit to existence. You've never been to jail. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Silver spoon. Stop it. Silver spoon. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah. Silver spoon. No, that's mom. Some, bro. My mom tells me shit like that all the time. Like just talking about something's gonna make like, it happen. Like even me, like 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 when we like talking about funny shit, I'm like, oh, ha, 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 I'm dead. She's like, no, don't say don't that. Don't do shit. that. Nah, for real. I like, hate that shit when people like will take random things that you say and just interpret no, bro, it to mean something yeah. completely no. different. All my kids, bro. I swear to God, my mom. Mom, nigga, I swear to God, I was 18 for a week. My mama woke me up. She said, what you doing today? I said, Mom, I'm going to jail. She says, don't play like that. Wait, well, I'm telling you. Why did you say that? Well, I don't know. Something. I don't know why I said it. She said, she said, don't say that, Armand. You know, the power of the tongue is real. I'm like, all right, whatever. She said, so what you going to do today? I'm like, I'm going to jail. And I just you kept saying dick. that You're shit. Nigga, dickhead. that night, my nigga, me, the homie Shelto, we, and the homie Bear, we went to this party in Compton. You feel me? House that party. That was your first mistake. You yeah, a bear with you. I went to this house party in Compton. A big ass fight happened. The police was called, right? Somebody threw a chair at my homeboy. We walk oh, outside. No. As we're walking outside, this fucking cop comes up to my homeboy for no reason, grabs his fucking neck, and throws him on the fucking uh, car. And I was like, officer, you ain't got to do him like that. He didn't do nothing. His fucking partner comes, leg sweeps yeah. me. They fucking leg sweeps me. Leg sweeps me, my nigga. I fall to the ground. Nigga, they putting their knee in my back. They do all that shit. Nigga, they arrest me. Nigga, they, this is how I meet fucking um, um, Ali, mixed by Ali. This is how we know wow. each other. Me and Ali met each other in the back of the fucking police car. Wow. Yes, and wow. we were sitting there beatboxing in the back of the police car. Right, this we was Yeah, we talking about how, what we going to be doing in, in, in the industry and everything like that. They let him go. They ended up booking me. And I, my Damn. mom was like, well, I told you. And this experience was enough to get you to believe in a superstition that's for the, the rest of your the, life. That's the first time. The second time, my homeboy, Donnie B, rest in peace. My homeboy just started saying out of nowhere one day, he was like, hey, I'm going to get smoked. This is what he's telling us. He's like, I'm going to get smoked. And we like, man, don't talk like that. He's yeah, like, why? I'm going to get smoked. He said, my fun he said, my y'all going to go to my funeral. My repass is going to be cracking. Y'all going to have me on shirts. Y'all going to be doing this. He's just saying this shit. You feel just me? Just out of nowhere. Bro, out of nowhere. We like, don't talk like that. What happens? He gets shot. You feel me? In front of my house. On my, my house gets shot the fuck up. He dies on my porch. You feel what I'm saying? Wow, bro. Yes, bro. And, well, repass was cracking, all that shit, bro. And we have T-shirts with him and shit like that. And there's a lot of people, bro, that I've seen who literally said, God, take me away, take me away, who end up literally dying after that shit. So I don't play when it comes to my life when it comes down yeah. to that. Well, everyone's going to die. Yes, We're I know that, but die, we don't yeah. want to do that soon, and we don't want to speak that to existence. I speak life on my yeah. I personally am speak, completely speak okay with people proposing prosperity. hypothetical situations in which I die because I think that that actually gives you a lot of um, a, van a, a great vantage point on your life. Like one mental exercise I was recently hearing about is when you're doing something and you're thinking maybe that you're not necessarily taking uh, – you, you might be kind of taking it for granted. You could think to yourself – what if this is the last time that I, I will ever do this? Like, what if I died tomorrow and this is the last time that I went mountain biking? That's going to make you view that situation More from important. a better vantage point. You're going to not take it for granted. Like, mm. And this dude even said, like, one example that I heard somebody say on a podcast recently, he's like, I love skiing. The last time I went skiing was 10 years ago. I might never go skiing again. He's like, think about how much more I would have been in the moment or I would have, you know, really forced yeah. myself to enjoy that experience if I had known that that might be the that might have been the last time I ever went skiing. Nigga, I've been. I've All been, I'm saying is that the death hypotheticals are important for understanding life. Bro, I've been thinking about all this type of shit so much recently. Y'all don't even understand. Like, especially bro, having health issues. Bro, like literally just fucking, just thinking like, damn, like I could walk fine like a couple weeks ago. Kiki, you want to put that blunt in the air? 
Nigga, we were at Complex Con walking around together, and I was like, that's when I just was like first feeling like, ah, oh, like mm. a little fucked up. But it's like, that's some shit that you don't even think about, like, taking for granted. It's like, I don't damn, want nigga. you to be a peg leg guy. I don't want to be either. No. So I'm going to go to the doctor. Out there. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm going to go to the doctor. But bro. you see, our other homie said today he has some fucking shit going on. I'm like, man, y'all don't play with your health, man. Who? Who? I'm not going to say his name, but well. he said something earlier and he addressed me. If you get my drift. But do not play with your fucking health, man. It is not worth it. What's Don't not? be stupid like me. Don't wait 15 fucking years to get a physical. Me? Bro, that's crazy. I, I can't was believe scared, that. bro. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Now yeah. that I look at my life and I think about all the drinking and coke and fucking pills I did and everything, it's like, <laughs> but like what was I thinking? Like, how long were you? How, how long has it been since you've done anything? Probably four years, three years. I can't remember. That's a while, at this bro. point. But I was just like, that ain't true. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a dick. <laughs> that nigga looked on me so fast. As if he knows. Four I would, months, I've never yeah. did drugs around him in the first place. Yeah, yeah. I've been basically sober the whole time that he's even I've seen in you California. do some shit, but you didn't do it in moderation. What? Oh, drink lean? Yeah. That don't count. That don't count. Well, that's don't, a gentleman's pleasure. Yeah, I don't count that it's as... It's a gentleman's pleasure? No, for real. That's I don't rich count, shit. I don't count that as... as uh, as doing drugs, no, if to you, be honest. If you drink, unless you become a lean head, if and you, you drink become lean a, less than once a month, then it's not a problem. All right. And yeah. also, if you can afford it, because yeah, a lot right. of people where drinking lean like once a month would be like a fucking full time job. Not really, man. Significant amount of money. Um, okay, let me take a look here. I have some more topics that I want to discuss. Oh, so do you remember Ice Poseidon? Yeah, of course. You don't know who this is. Okay, Ice Poseidon is a, a streamer. Who you probably Yuri's favorite streamer of all time? He he basically pictured this is a person who like influenced Yuri's existence more yeah, than anybody literally, ever. Literally, he, like he's like the live streamer that Yuri was such a fan of, and the reason why he works for No Jumper is basically because mm -hmm. he was like such like a, a dick rider of the live streaming <laughs> scene of live <laughs> that he like <laughs> wanted to be a part of No Jumper because we were kind of like adjacent to like the yeah. Ice Poseidon world. And he liked rap music because so. he was the first. Streamer who basically started doing the IRL streams where he would go out filming himself walking around LA just getting into whatever and you know all of a sudden he's like making fun of some random person on the street or fucking with some girls talking to some random girls or he's walking in a pizza place but then his fan base turns super super toxic and all of a sudden he would like go to a pizza spot and the fucking fans watching at home they would would. find the fucking phone number for the pizza spot and call it in. And they'd be like, yo, there's a white guy holding a video ca uh, a <laughs> camera. He just walked in there. He's a child <laughs> molester. Keep an eye on him. He's got, or, or like, no, he, no. he's got a bomb on him. He's yeah, going to no, no, blow no. up the spot, the et cetera. TTS, bro. The TTS, the oh, TTS yeah, shit. Yeah, bro, yeah. They, bro, it would say the craziest shit like, yeah. while he was out in public. Bro. Like he, he would meet like a random bi girl. And like you, you could oh, donate like $3 and, and write whatever the fuck you want. And the fucking speaker it says say what well, you say. So he he'll, knows what TTS you, is. You, you know, and they yeah. block, they would block like the obviously racist shit, but people obviously are incredibly clever, and, and they, they would come up to, with yeah. something to fucking completely. <laughs> uh, and there's like whatever. Like he, he basically was like uh, super early on streaming, and you know his career, I would say, has kind of slowed down since then. Like he really has taken like multiple breaks and stuff, but he still does some of the streaming stuff and everything. But he started a coin, right? Like a Bitcoin clone type thing under his brand name or whatever. And his fan base, I don't think, is that huge anymore. But definitely some people who put money into it. So he starts this. And then long story short, he basically ends up like, you know, all these people have money invested in it. He withdraws like $750,000 or $800,000 and just dips off with all his own fans' money. Oh, that's the nigga you dissed on Twitter? I did tweet about it. Mm -hmm. which, when did this happen recently? Like a couple days ago. And Are the, you and joking? If you want to see the video about it, CoffeeZilla made a really, really good video breaking down exactly how you do this. It's called a rug pull, where basically you like convince a bunch yeah. of your fans to invest in a crypto coin, and then you fucking pull all of your liquidity out of it, so That's they're so left up. high and dry. And the crazy thing about it is that this dude CoffeeZilla is doing an interview with him and basically trying to yeah, get him to acknowledge that stealing all this money from his fans is fucked up. And he, like, is basically like, yeah, you know, I did do it, but, you know, like, what? Am, well, I'm, I'm not going to give the money back. And wow. But he's like, but you money, stole it. And he's how like, much money was it? It's like 800 grand or something. <laughs> like, it was like, like there's, there's like three different times that he basically took money out of it. And it's like each time was like 200,000 plus. Why are you fucking So he joking? basically just made off like a fucking bandit. And it kind of seems like he's like 
done with the streaming thing. Yeah. And so he's just sort of like, fuck it, I'll just make a shitload of money on the way out. They didn't leave, yeah. Yeah. So don't That's do anything funny. like that to your community. I don't think so. That's the important thing. The community is strong now. Yeah, I had I had a really fun time at this nigga career, bro. Like that shit was lit. I'm hey, I'm a fucking Twitch partner. I love how I, t- month. I tell you guys like a whole story and then you just immediately change the subject to something no. else. The point is to try to be on topic no, to you. You just said my community. I yeah, but I'm trying to like yeah, talk was, about yeah, a topic, yeah. not just like no, no, start it. promoting your thing after I tell you about something. But no, I'm a Twitch partner. I can't believe that <laughs> fucking I mean like Ice Poseidon didn't really give me, I guess. That like 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 he didn't seem like I guess he would do some shit. Yeah, like it seemed that. like he actually fucking cared about his community, yeah. and like I wasn't gonna say anything about it. But then once I actually like went on YouTube and started to like really like notice how many times I've done content with him. Like I did an interview with him with like 800k. I did another podcast on my channel. I did fucking I hosted a boxing match with him and shit. It's like think about Mexican uh, Andy how he feels. Think right about now. all the Andys, dude. <laughs> think oh, about yeah, Yuri. You know how Yuri goes this like. Yeah, like if you go like Yuri, you're like you're a fucking idiot. He's like, like whoa, 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 whoa. that thing. This is Ice Poseidon. He yeah. invented this. He oh, really? I didn't yes. know that's where he got that, that, that from. He stole that from him. Is he like is is Yuri like harmonious Andy? <laughs> like kind of, like, or right? Like, not like, even like that. Like he would just be like Russian yeah. Andy or something. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Who the fuck is Andy? He started this yeah. whole thing where like there would always be different fans that would like come up to him on stream and shit and basically try to like get like, clout off him and they would all become an Andy. But yeah, but bro, like they would like they You'd would be literally Compton Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, you're Compton Andy. That was funny. You're ketamine Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, but um, yeah, like. His like his his fan base is just like fucking insane, bro. Wait, um, wasn't he beefing with like uh, uh Brandon Hampton Brandon or whatever? Hampton. Was it Brandon Beacon? They him and Brandon Hampton were tight at first, and then Brandon Hampton broke off, and Brandon Hampton became like the evil streamer yeah. who was like fighting everybody and getting into crazy shit on Hollywood Boulevard. I think I got into a fight with him in Santa Monica. Well, what? do you remember the video of uh, it was like. A, a dude got hit by a car on, on yeah, Hollywood Boulevard uh-huh. and he ended up basically doing like a handstand on the fuck. If you, you saw it, you would remember it. You know exactly. Brian Pumper was in the clip. I think Brian Pumper filmed the clip just kicking it on what? Hollywood Boulevard. Okay, it, like, okay, not not even trying to be funny. It was like some crib nigga or something and the crib nigga was pressing this white, uh, was pressing this guy we talking about and the white nigga tried to run away and he was, but it was oh, like, hit by a car. I'm yeah, there. you've seen that. It yeah. was so fucking crazy that that happened. Bro, I can't believe also like the fucking <laughs> first Shoreline Mafia Musty video mm-hmm. was shot at Hampton at Brandon Hampton. What I no, keep getting it wrong. Brandon Hampton is underrated in terms of white people who have been on No Jumper and said the uh, N word repeatedly. What? what? Yeah, he was banging Crip and shit in that one video. Shut the fuck he up. had like seven Crips with him all standing around him during his interview because he got and hit he by was a saying damn the shit and they were just letting him say it. One of them is in the stink team. That's crazy. Because yeah. he got hit by a car, so he had, you know, like... You blame it on that. Yeah, I said that. I'm worried about it. It's because of the CTE. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, he got to get, he got to be protected now. I'm not. Like, I don't you really gonna get, You're going to get hit on purpose I, I don't now. think that's a good excuse, but <laughs> I could see I someone to trying go, to use that excuse. I'm about to go find a car right now. He's like, nigga, 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 nigga. I'm going to find a car to get hit by. Damn, imagine Parker gets a concussion and starts saying that. And we're well, so mad. Why is it got to be bro? Parker? Don't put that what in the, the air, man. Yeah, what the fuck is oh, wrong? Are we putting me? death and the N-word <laughs> in the air now? <laughs> the N-word is fine. Not How can we just you put, can put the <laughs> You think that, that me mentioning as a joke the idea that Parker could say the N-word in the you future sh- is going to make her more likely want, to be a daily N-word sayer? We don't want Parker to say no N-words, man. He's already worried about George George Clooney. I really thought you were telling me <laughs> he that. He said the ER. <laughs> <laughs> you were probably dead ass. Huh? That was so funny. <laughs> that nigga made Casamigos. That man. shit was it's hilarious. Oh, I was he, really nigga, trying you, you to get my hero. I was, trying, I was really trying to get you to understand what I was talking about. And you just kept like, <laughs> like You kept getting more confused. Everything. Is, I wish but, you had Trev, but Trev said he was confused too. We need, we need cameras in the ceilings with Mike so we can capture moments like that. I can't believe you said the you thing was fake. Like I'm, I'm that shit is Go watch it again now. I know. Think about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, God damn it. <sighs> Kush. I'm gonna look at my notes again. I know we got some to talk about. Can you pull up well, the yeah, donations I, too? I was gonna say, let's let's, let's look <laughs> let's look at what the people gotta say, man. Look at the donos. Oh yeah, Kanye said don't ask him to do an NFT. I would like to put myself in that group as well. That's pretty yeah. important to me. Y- yeah, because you were saying NFTs <laughs> are the stupidest shit before you bought one. And then I bought one. But now I'm back to not fucking with NFTs. What really? Well, I just don't. What changed? I, I mean, the fact I got one of the good ones. 
One I just the, don't believe in all the rest of them. Yeah, because niggas is just... Except all the ones on the No Jumper Instagram that mm. have paid posts. Okay. I believe in all those. Okay. No. At least... I wonder how many people are... Today. Paying, I wonder how many people are paying to get their NFTs promoted on No Jumper. I don't know. How many of you post like a, a day? Shout out to my boy Fudge Willie. Shout out to Fudge Willie. He's, gonna, he's Fudge been Willie dropping at? some heat. He's in the chat. He said, can you feel the fudge tonight on all platforms? I got to check that out. Yo, yeah. Look. Can you feel the Is there any, the way, fudge is there any way we can watch like one like Fudge Willie video during... No. But we added one of his songs to Alright. We need to add more. That we need to add legend. We need to add his entire catalog. <laughs> Fudge Willie is just a, a certified hit maker. Uh Dot <sighs> Focus said Sharp's Leave probably your alone. Sharp's probably at a gas station <laughs> arguing with a group of chicks. I could see that. Um Michael right. Michael Metro sent four dollars uh five dollars said likes are free. Shout out to him. No, Sharp is, is doing episodes this week. So I know that the Sharp Tank Excuse fans me. are probably uh Holler at the Sharp Tank fans. They're probably Yo, disappointed because they haven't seen a new Sharp you. episode in like a week or two or whatever. But we got him in the fucking booth. He we, got to travel. Me, him, and Selena Powell about to lock wow. in. Whoa. And me and Sharp are going to zone out and do another that's two going, hours. That's going to be crazy. Yeah, they're going to be arguing like a motherfucker. But what do you think they're going to end up talking about? I don't know. They're just gonna, the names alone yeah. is going to be like... They're yeah. going to just they're gonna find a way to start arguing like about anything. Sharp yeah. is It's going to have like a million views the first day. Yeah, For sure. I don't know. I'm, I'm very excited to see what happens, but I have no idea. And what am I going to contribute to it? I feel like it's going to be like the Blue Jasmine and Sharp one where they're just screaming at each other and I'm kind of stuck in the middle. Hey, like, that's ah! that set the gonna foundation. Be like, hmm? That set the foundation. That was the foundation. Selena is just going to be like, you stupid bitch. That'd be tight. Shyrag Sarkaria sent ten dollars and said, "Have you heard the Juice World snippet about you twenty two with a Glock like Adam No Jumper?" Yes, I have no idea if that song actually exists or anything like that. Well, if you heard it, it exists. I just but heard the it, snippet, but I never heard anything close to like a full song. So I would like to hear it if it exists. But I mean, there's all these people who have all these leaks out there. So if that yeah. song actually did exist, I feel like. We would know. I love a good leak. You know, Juice World re would record a verse like fucking in five minutes, a huh? bunch of times on one, or he would he would rap for ten minutes on a song, and then it would end up being Bro, a fucking. He's one of the best freestylers that I've ever yeah, heard. Yeah. So I feel like, like I'm ever, on, ever. I'm not counting on that snippet coming out. Mm. Shout out to Ski TV. Ski. Our boy, our boy Kiki Ski. dropped Big twelve dollars in the chat. What Big a Ski. legend. Big what ski. a fucking legend. Big Ski, Big Ski's going to be with me uh, uh, doing the live stream right oh. after the show. Oh. Right, after. right after the show, baby, 9 p.m. And listen, one thing I'm excited for is once we get into the new spot and we can stream a little bit more easily and we have multiple sets, I want to have some of our uh, No Jumper clan, such as Yuri, such as Kiki, such as Vel. Let's have them do an hour before the No Jumper show as like a pre-show. You know? Okay. See... see Test them out a little bit. Yeah. Give them a spot where they can talk about some shit. That's like it's less, get everybody. It's show. less pressure because it's like an intro to the main show, but they can kind of. It would be cool. I'll have them like open up for us. I think I since there's more fucking opportunities, you should try them out as talent. Give all the way. Literally, that's what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> Trying them out by doing like a pre-show to Give the everybody a show. Because a lot of the fans are already in the zone, locked in, watching the YouTube channel on a Tuesday or Wednesday anyway. So maybe they tune in an hour early. They get to. See what Val and Kiki put together, or Yuri, or Trev, or whoever. Make Trev and Bossa Nova fight to the death for a show. To whoever, whoever, whoever survives. My money, whoever, whoever my money, survives my money's on Bossa show. Nova. He seems like one of the people to have <laughs> yeah. the fucking, uh, what's some sores, the little pointy ones? Mm. He just shoot <laughs> like Zorro. <laughs> Sometimes we'll have super gangster ass rappers in here, and I'll wonder what they're thinking about Bossa Nova's <laughs> painted fingernails. They so probably I, don't give a fuck. Sometimes it's 2022. I, sometimes I notice them. I, I notice them like certain rappers like looking at the fingernails, being like, <laughs> "Bro, right?" It's 2022. Who cares? You don't do that. Man? You're too cis for that. No, no. I'm just like, I just haven't. I'm, I'm bro. I, I let this girl paint my fucking nails in like high school. I, what are the I, odds of you claiming a different that. gender at some point in your life? Never. Never. No. Hmm. I mean, like you know, I'm. He's I'm binary. Fine. I, I have no problem. Binary but, is weird. <laughs> you no. You want to be binary? I think. No. I don't know. Uh, we got to Google what that even means. Jay Martinez sent $5. said, Josh should let y'all pack him out right now to let him smash Kazumi <laughs> after a house phone. What? I don't love that idea on many levels. But Why do we got to pack him out? And then what does that have to do? How is that linked with him? Imagine Josh just bloody as fuck pulling up to the Kazumi game, man. Now that's a mental image. 
Oh, I don't know. I'm not sitting on that. That's, yeah, you that's, been, that's, yeah, that's you finna get my boy in trouble, that's man. That's legit. You gonna get my boy in trouble or he can't even go. He has to work. He has e- to go. Yeah, honestly, you have to go. <laughs> E-Monster91 sent $10 and said, Adam, you should be using my girl's soap I sent you, not that Irish Spring bullshit. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Urban Hippie Essentials. <laughs> oh, that's who sent you the soap? I would like to comment on that. I haven't tried out his soap yet, but I will try it out. Okay. But the day after we did the No Jumper show, I was getting in the shower, and I looked. I, I, I looked at one drawer, and I had a fucking twelve pack of Irish Spring. <laughs> it just appeared there. No, it was already there, but oh, I just okay. saw it. Stinky fuck! I had been using body wash for a few days or a week before this, and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna put Irish Spring on my story and tag AD, but then I'm gonna actually use the loofah. I grabbed the loofah, I started putting the body wash on the loofah. And then I started lathering up with it. I have multiple things to say about this. A, you make the soap stretch a lot more yeah, by using do. the loofah. Yeah. You get a nice lather going. If you're just applying the, the soap the by hand, hand you yeah. need like a lot. But when you use the loofah, it, spread, it helps you spread you the soap really around. You really start getting it in. I can't there. believe you can, you. You can I can't, put it above your head and go down your back, oh, between your back. You know yes. what I'm saying? I can't believe as a, what, 37? Pass AD the loofah. Hey, hit my back. No. I can't believe you're at this age and just not figuring I'm this out. I'm fucking with the loofah, man. I'm, <laughs> that's why I like my new name, Lufa Loke. Lufa Loke. Yeah, that I'm, was I'm, hard. I was kind of hoping to go by Lufa Loke. You can be uh, Bufa Loke. Never mind. I'm boofing things. Anyway. <laughs> then the other day, I was gonna say something stupid. The other day, I got in the shower. You're finna be faded. <laughs> Those aren't medicated. They're not medicated. Fire. Really? Choco bars. The other day, oh. I get in the fucking shower, and I had just been fucking finishing the, the the roach from the night before, so I'm really in the zone, and I forget about the loofah, and I just grab the Irish Spring, and I take a I, I take my old fashioned fucking Irish Spring shower before I know it. I'm fucking lathered up with Felt that. Dirty, didn't you? I think that the loofah ring supreme. What the fuck? I think it's officially loofah gang or or don't Hot bang. Rocks. I'm fucking with it. Loofah gang or don't bang? I'm with it. Yeah, man. Fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. just glad that you. They hate when people chew gum. Just so you know, Pop Rocks is. Sorry, I probably even worse. Oh. Bro. Sus. Anyway. Yeah, it wasn't. Loo- I think I was... I'm on the loofah from now on. Do you bring a loofah with you when you go on a trip? No. No. What do you do when you go on the trip? You use the soap from use the, the hotel. Towel. I yeah, use the a towel. rag from the from the uh, the, t- the towel the from the hotel. From the hotel. Okay. You grab that. You I can't believe you. Re- are you, are like, you serious right now? I don't even care. Too like you can wipe your ass and you can throw that motherfucker. It's like, oh. throw it at the mirror. I've done mirror. so. I've done so much foul shit with the yeah, with, with, with towel. Yeah, hotel towel. Yeah, like you, you, you be wa- washing your ass <laughs> like this. <laughs> like my nose, my my, my nose <laughs> bled one time, and I just fucking. <sighs> like, so do you just have it like built into your DNA, your fucking code in your brain to to wash your face before your ass? Yeah. yeah, you you wait. Do you have a code? Like do you do you, do you wash like head, arms, yeah. shoulders? That's what you should do, I feel midriff. I don't use the same products that I wash my face and like I don't use body wash to wash my face. So like I wash my face with the face wash and then I wash my body with the body wash. Oh, so I should have a different soap for my face. Yeah, you yeah. should have you a little a little skin a little skin routine. See, if, that, that's if, my if one. If you care about your skin, that's my one complaint about the loofah is that it's too big and cumbersome for me to really get like the like you can't oh, get the crevices and, and stuff. Yeah, so you don't use the loofah on your face? No, no, I do afterwards still. So I after it's covered in your no, booty I'm sauce? T- no, bro. Let me tell you, this okay. is what I do. I use my skin care stuff. I put that on my face. I get in there good. You know what I'm saying? Then I get my, my beard little shampoo. I do the shit for the beard. That's what I need. That's fake what I beard. need. Okay, my fake beard. You feel me? He washes it off. <laughs> you, wash, you wash it off. <laughs> wash the Sharpie off. <laughs> hey. Oh, uh, no, no. I got some, I got some, uh, some chalk. Look, I got the chalk lineup still from, from what's, the, I, what's that? You know, you have one hair that's like down right now. Oh, oh my from, god, that looks so tight. That's from my hat. You got a weird little error going. No, I don't you know. You just I made it worse. I can't see it, but you like Danny Brown. When you, you look like your head's cracking. No. <laughs> hey, so you ever used Beijing before? What's that? Beijing? Beijing is the shit that they put on to make like the feeling your spirit. Oh, oh. Beijing is a place in China. The I homie, know that, but it's oh. called Beijing. No, my, my barber has for sure done that. No, but you don't. You don't see like the little white residue. He does that, like he like well, chalks, he lines you up. Yeah, he like chalk, chalks you out first, and then uses it to. I'm make gonna sure. chalk you out. Um, I, <laughs> speaking of barbers, where's K Flock's barber at? 
I want to fucking check in with him. Wow. And shout out my boy Swayze TV. Yeah, shout out Swayze. Swayze TV's life is hard right now because he doesn't have K Flock to make videos about. He has no updates unless he ends up catching a fade out on Rikers. Maybe he can make a video about that. They're not going to probably have a video of that, unfortunately. This place falling apart. Damn, you got man. a new spot. But shout out Swayze TV, man. Damn, man. This place is falling apart. Bro, he was just getting lit, too. Just like, getting lit, and now his boy is uh, gone. That's like if no, academics about, lost. Fuck, well, no, because academics had like, like he was doing like Soldier Boy and Rico Reckless and shit. But I was going to say if 6 where, 9 did Is Rico out, Reckless still in jail? They, they, I keep seeing comments saying they he's said out. He got out. But well, where is where well, he? Why did he tap in with us? Tap yeah. in with us. Man. Where the fuck Rico Reckless at? Man, man no, nah, but bro. I got a little chode roach right now, bro. Bro, that shit's sad, bro. It's like, ah, fuck, like. Cause we don't know what happened. Like he could, he could have really been saving his own life. Like the nigga, like nigga could have been up, finna up the pole okay, on him. Flock. Yeah, the nigga could have been about to up the pole on him first. Definitely, I think that was the situation. Yeah, exactly. He didn't just blame him for no reason. I mean, not for no reason, but like. I mean, I don't, I don't know. think that was gonna help him in court too much. But hey, Adam, uh, would you rather one get double teamed by House Phone and AD once a month for a year, what? or two drink a fifth of vodka every single day? For a year, God, what? both of those sound so shitty. I don't think you could physically <laughs> drink a gallon of vodka. No, a fifth of vodka if you spread it out throughout the oh, day. I thought you said a gallon. I it, could drink a fifth of tequila. You think I could like spread it out throughout the day without being yeah. totally shit faced all day, bro? You could start at three p.m. I'd have done it. If I drink three gallons of water, you could a start day? at eight a.m. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I would have hate my fucking life though. Maybe I'll just get tag. I got teams. homies like that. Like they wake up in the morning. Wait, and go tag get them a fifth team every Anderson. day? Are you guys gonna tag team my asshole? No, it's once a bro! month. Bro, what? Yeah, no. That's gonna suck. Yeah, nigga, you know what double team means, Josh. Lamar Penn sent five dollars. Shout out to him. Big Cam said, "Why house phone built like Missy Elliott?" <laughs> I ask myself that all the time. <laughs> Lamar oh, Penn also Missy said, "Missy Elliott is a is a musical legend." He said, musical "Can legend. I get an invite to Kazumi's party?" That's between you and Kazumi. I'm sorry. Um, no, it says clearly on the emails, no plus ones. <laughs> Darren sent ten dollars and said, "My schmeat may not be twelve inches, but it sure smells like a foot." That was funny. <laughs> That is funny. That's gross. Also, Aunt sent ten dollars. Said Duno gets you guys a lot of Mexican slash Latinx audience. You guys should be nice to him, especially on his weight. I SMH. Love All of y'all out of shape. Be honest. What do you mean? That's fair. Y'all donate and say these things about him. Trying to get us to put him on a weight loss program and shit. <laughs> Y'all need to put me on a fucking weight loss program. I don't know. We love Duno, though. Duno's yeah, the best. we love Duno, but love y'all, y'all Duno's need the, him. Probably the funniest. We got to roast that motherfucker. Did y'all like his No Jumper impressions? I didn't watch that yet. Uh, oh, you got to watch I it. I was so mad he tapped out on me. He was like, oh, house phone is like, you can't do him. The best one is Trev. He said, <laughs> I was like, oh, no. <laughs> in tune sent $10. What happened to Sharp and are the hose mad hoodies ever shipping? Uh, <laughs> you got to hit the, the, the website, the nojumper.com site. I don't know about when specific things ship. HR, Josh at nojumper.com. Oh, or Josh at nojumper.com. Oh, okay. What <laughs> happened to Sharp? I mean, he's he's filming this week, yeah, so we'd yeah, be good. Yeah, don't I worry. Like Sharp is just. Yeah, like, don't worry. Sam C. Shout out, no jumper. AD, that all I do track goes. Keep that shit up. House Thank phone, you, fix your leg. Yeah. Damn, that's it's my legs. Vince sent five dollars. Said need a baby smooth interview. That would be great. Would let's be let's do that. Um, Office D Will said reacted to AD's new track. All I do fire emojis. Appreciate it, my fire. guy. Oh, Appreciate so it. maybe you should check his channel out. Official D Will, because he said he did a reaction. I think. Shout out mm. to D Will. I'm gonna check that out. Charlie Bag sent ten dollars. Shout out to him. Barax ninety four sent two dollars. Said AD. No, he's shouting a song. No, we're not gonna do that. Uh, <laughs> Juan sent five dollars. Said Kaka. Uh, Chris Serrano said, "We can brother Myron the Sambo from Sudan." I don't a know. lot of things change. I don't know. Shout out Myron though. Uh, what up, fool? With Slim sent ten dollars. Said the Slim checking in from Charlotte. Shout out Adam Twenty Two House Phone ADT Realm. The whole Plug Talk gang. Duno Yuri, the Russian C Mac on Fifty Fifth, and don't forget Parker Gang. Long live Tony. Shout yeah. out to him. What yeah, long say? live Tony. But they hate on Myron some more. No, no. Have you have you seen that show that he made? The Fed It? It's oh, just fire. I, I it was it super fire. He's got a new program. I'm style. not gonna hold you. Amazing. Damn, I gotta He's check like that breaking out. down all these cases like extreme like extremely well. Chelsea Rodriguez said, Where Yassi at cuh? I damn near used to be bricked up watching Shorty. All love my boys and to the rogue gang, ease up our Duno until further notice. Okay. Shout out Yassi. Thank you, Chelsea. Much love to Yassi. Shout out to 
Larry Chelsea. Ramirez said, Yuri is the end product if Howard Stern had babies with the dude from Victorious. I don't know what that means at all. Okay. <coughs> Victorious yep. is a is a show Ariana Grande was on. Shout out Mercules. Oh, Nickelodeon. Mercules said thirty nine dollars yeah. and said Mercules and Crip Mac coming soon. Ooh. That's bananas. We need that. Uh, Charlie Bags said, "What are your thoughts on Draco and Rumble's relationship towards the end? His untouchable remix sounds like a sneak diss. You used to slap his music till I found out he was such a kid. Jesus Christ! I wish I didn't read that. Uh, I don't know anything yeah. about all that. Yeah, that's, that's not true. I that, bet you. Yeah, that got nothing to do with us. Uh, I didn't even. Uh, why did I read that? I should have figured out not to read that earlier. Chiroglyphics said." Send in love Whoa. to Yuri. Keep your head up. <laughs> love you, bro. Yeah, shit. shout out to Yuri. He's been going through some shit. Yeah, uh, man. Everybody's everybody go on Yuri's Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Send him some positive love, man. We don't want to speak on it because we don't really know anything about it. But if you check out Yuri's Instagram story, you can figure it out. Yeah. So prayers up to him and everything he's going through. <clears throat> yeah, go go to his Instagram post and just tell him how much you appreciate him. Intergalactic sent five dollars. You've been wa- yo been watching you for a minute. Check out Intergalactic VIP on Instagram and see what I got going on. Shout out to you, Bunny Rock sent five dollars. Need that you fizzle interview. Hmm. Fizzle. Thank you, fizzle. Or did he mean to say something else? I think he meant to say thank you, fizzle. Um, Isaac J Smooth said, "Add a badass interview with Bobby." Also, we need more Tiny Cut interviews. Shout out, no jumper. Yeah, I agree. Tell us who you think that Tiny Cut, aka T Rail, aka Last Kings, is Prince. Uh-huh. <laughs> who Black he should Prince. interview next because honestly I'm really impressed because like him interviewing TF you know that's his homie that he had a good relationship with and obviously you were on that one too I didn't necessarily expect that one to do really good views but I think the people were actually excited to see t yeah, interviewing with somebody interview. so they tuned in and that, that put more eyes on him that's I crazy agree. yeah shout out TF too <laughs> uh, Dylan he should, he should interview like some of his uh Last Kings and niggas from back in the day. You should interview Zaga. <laughs> uh, Dylan Parker said, Adam, my friend is Ryan from Turtle Bay. I sent this in traffic on the way home from work on the freeway. Shout out Rope Gang. Shout out Dylan Parker. Forgot I had that tatted on my nose. <sighs> Noah Rope Shrimp yeah. said, LMAO, it Juice like World. might say something else, though. Juice World, the best freestyler. What about Big L? Definitely. Big L, classic. Very, Yo, I got slugs for snitches. Very no good options. For bitches. Alex Gutierrez said, if Housemone don't drop that song with Baby Tron, we cancel it. Disconnected. That Whoa. shit is fire, too. All yeah. right. Yeah, and, and Stan Will is on that song too. Shout out Shitty Boys, man. You're an honorary Shitty Boy. Honestly, he's I might about be, to get signed by Baby Tron. I might be the fourth member. Imagine you're just his Beanie Siegel signed to the Hip Hop Lab. I like that. Cole See Through sent five dollars. Said sending love to Yuri and his fam and shout out Big Ski. We need him on a full pod for sure. Shout out Big Ski. Let man. us know if you want Big Ski to sit in on an episode sometime. Ski TV. Cole See, uh, I'm I'm 100 G said uh, Zay Hilfiger. Is now <laughs> Glizzy Goblin and doing dudes on Twitter. Nigga gang. What do you mean now? Nigga he gang. been doing Nigga, Nigga gang. gang Goblin. Nigga gang. No, but I think he was just doing like, <laughs> he was doing such Nigga, nah, he was he sucking was up a glass dildo. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. they're saying that he's fucking dude, dudes dude, now. Dude. I don't think uh, uh, that you, might be new. I mean, if you do that, you, you, I mean, lit. yeah, if you're sucking up a dildo on, to, on the timeline, it's like, that's hard. Know. Pause. Okay. Uh, Dave Revenue sent ten dollars. Said, "Shut up, Dave Revenue on YouTube." Okay, I gotta check it out. <laughs> you know, no, no, no. You know what I hate? You know what I hate? Glizzy Goblin. Anytime I see somebody and they're like, "Yo, like, are you house phone?" Da, da, da. Yeah, what's up? Yo, tell Adam I said what's up. I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, you know what? Let me call them right now. Yeah. Call Adam and be like, "Yeah, this random guy just said what's up." It's the thought that counts. It is. Dylan Parker said, Adam, shout out to North Shore. My mom worked at T-Bay Rope Gang. Yes, shout out to Hawaii. What's I just T-Bay? remember that Turtle Bay is uh, oh. where we stayed at in Hawaii. Uh, Adam, can we get an updated Splurge interview? Shout out No Jumper Fan from Dallas. I feel like we got this donation last time. Uh, but yeah, shout out to uh, shout out to Splurge. Splurge definitely started a wave of like the... Uh, the like super simple instrumentals, like you know, yeah. I feel like no, like nobody else. But Actually, Soulja Boy did. He's like a him. grown man now. Yeah, he is grown as fuck. Probably he looks totally different. It's kind of crazy. I haven't seen or heard any of his music or any of that. Mm. I, w- I would like to tap back in. He was very, uh, he was very influential. He used to always be at the store. Cole see through sent five dollars and said Swayze needs Maddie G's to come back. You need to interview him. <laughs> I do. actually would. The story no, of Maddie G. But actually, he's that's a like set interview, tripper. That's like interviewing Twisty P. He's honestly. like dissing Pop Smoke after he died and shit. Okay, like, he's, he's fucking tripping. crazy. And you, you think he's just like tucked off somewhere in like upstate New York and like so he don't got to worry about it? I remember when his parents got him in trouble and kicked him off YouTube, I think. His parents made him get off YouTube? he was burning the black rag and all that <laughs> shit, bro. He was the fucking craziest gangbanger <laughs> in New York. <laughs> uh, 
uh, Isaac five five nine said cop. He was the original Twisty P. He was cop oh the Rico God. high roller. Shout out House Phone for a fire shoe. Yo, thank you. They sold out. They sold out, man. The big ones is. Freeway Smoke said, Pete, my music, I'm up next. Uh, Friday, we will actually be doing a live stream. Me, Big Ski, uh, probably like Trev and Vel or I'll whoever. Pull up, I'll pull up too. We'll be in here doing the stream, listening to your music. So if you want to get your songs heard, go to nojumper.com, click the tab on the top left, and choose music promotions. And you can see all the different options that we have for everybody. Uh, Identity by Teddy Winslow said, AD Sharon snacks with foam was so cute. Shout out Mildew22. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Gang. Darker Pill Cosby number two said, where's my homies Fresh and Fit update? They said they love you guys. LOL. Hashtag we don't dabble in the dark. Shout out to Fresh and Fit. No Shout out guys. Fresh and Fit. I can't yeah. believe they said that. We, I can't believe they said that on the a dark. podcast. We dabble everywhere. I dabble everywhere. Oh, <laughs> on God. Wolfred said, why does Adam look like a thick beat Davidson? <laughs> oh. Is his hair blonde too? Yeah, I'll do it. I think I think you need more of like a. Dead. You're a Skeet Davison. <clears throat> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was Justin Cook sent twenty dollars. Said, "What up, no jumper? What up to you?" Michael Ornelius you sent five bucks. Shout out to him. Uh, Evan A said, "Let's do a Firebird Hot Wing Challenge." Ten dollars. Shout out to him. Firebird Chicken, amazing. What's the um, love that idea? What's the fucking reward at the end? Because that shit gonna fuck my stomach up. Cody in USA said, "You dig update? We have one, none. You should make a video or something. Tell us." Niggas swear that he he's at uh, Foot Locker, and I wasn't weekend. gonna say it. They swear. You they said swear. it so many times in the back. I ain't yeah, that yeah. right there. Yeah, we said it. We said it ahead of, ahead of time. Ruben Rod Rodriguez said, shout out Air Iron Shaw Up and coming artist in LA. Okay. I would just want to know what like happened in his life that he was just like, fuck it. Like, Rebecca Havater sent said XXX. Cool. That's it. Fire. Yeah. Freeway Smoke. Quit playing with me, Adam. I'm bumping next. Tell AD to fuck with my music. If you ain't, okay. You still fuck with Nick Sebasti. Shout out to Nick. I ain't seen him in a minute, but yeah, shout out to Nick. Get Tariq Nasheed for an interview and watch his new documentary, Buck Breaking. I never, I didn't know he had a documentary out. I'm interested in that. And Tariq Nasheed is fucking crazy, but maybe. Uh, AD, I'm waiting on my Switch, bro. What the fuck? Just playing. It's what coming. Do, I'm sending it out tomorrow. You drop shipping uh, switches? No, I, I, I gave away uh, <laughs> for, my, switch? for my Twitch uh, when I got That's to a uh, thousand uh, subscribers. You should give away a switch. switch. Uh, they got me on that too. I did one of the like, um, oh, like the the person with the most likes on their comment. I'm gonna give him a free shirt. I mean, you I, should do I actually a, bought it and showed it to him. I mean, give him a little Dirk switch. Yeah, they're like, wow. they're like, they're like, where's my shirt? House and and me like, Duno fuck. and Pun signed it too. When are we getting the Twisty P interview slash Yeet? Yeet was not actually there for the Twisty P interview, we wish, but we wish we would love there. to do a podcast with him. Yeah, we need our interview. Yeah. Liliana said, AD, you're my man crush Monday. Can I please take you on a date or would you wear my clothing brand if I send you merch? Send it to me. He'll have sex with you for $75. <laughs> Ains was, that, was that your price back in the day when you used to serve? No, that was my price. That was a real general. What would you do with the seventy five? Like, if you only got one, if you only got one that day, what would you do? Like, well, I was getting a five dollar haircut. Five dollar haircut. I used to pay five dollars from where? Every day. Hey, the homie E used to hook. How much were you paying for the fake beard back then? I didn't have fake beard. Oh. I didn't have a beard. Yes, he asked me if I had a fake beard one day, and I was so offended. I mean, I wasn't offended. I was more like, okay, I must be. Looking you should good. get a tattoo. Well, get when a tattoo. When I get fake beard compliments, I mean, like, yeah, that damn, means, that means really you get your shit tattooed. What do you mean? My beard? You got a beard tattooed on your face, so then you can just grow hair on top of that. That's actually uh That sounds like the worst idea. It's weird. Hmm. I never grow hair right here either. They're like, why don't you fill it in? I'm like, nah, just let it rock. Yeah, this guy, right. Ann's Life, is asking if we would be on his podcast. They have 255 subscribers. How about uh, you put some more work in and we'll consider yeah, again. Exactly. America sent five dollars. Said AD drinking motor oil tonight. <laughs> R.I.P. Sydney Bordney. Oh no, this is a chlorophyll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I says, need that. That's oh, chlorophyll. Yeah. That's, That's toothpaste water. Hey, Shout out to Brandon for the twenty dollars. What, what are the, what are the health benefits of this green water? Nigga, it's a lot. It's 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 what um, it's what the plants uh, uh the plants have to have it to grow. Correct, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of health benefits for it. You're not a plant. I am a Robert Plant. <laughs> We're gonna call you that. You're not a plant. Y'all got the homie. Dude, your rap name should be Robert California. From fucking the office? Yeah. <laughs> Don't look like that nigga. It's wrong with you. No, but like then you'd be really <laughs> repping California, right? I like it. Uh Michael Vick said if House Phone loses his leg, he can finally be Crip. That's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> That, that was, was funny. funny though. That was funny. I hit the blunt and I'm too high now. I'm like, fuck. 
<laughs> I haven't smoked in forever. Is that, like that would really put you to the test because like it's a big core belief for you that people should be made fun of for their disabilities. No, I don't. That's a core belief of that's a, a belief at T C C records. I ha <laughs> I haven't said a, a disabled nothing to that you did. One time. But it was relevant. You oh. roasted everybody on their disabilities. We all have them. <laughs> What's yours? You didn't say nothing. Hair loss. Hair that's loss. not one. <laughs> that is not a disability. Erectile dysfunction. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm pumping nut. Elmer's. Straight Elmer's. I heard you I heard you had to like put some weird shit into your dick hole to make it hard no. when what? you go when you go film. Shout out to bluechew.com. Uh, oh no, they ain't paying us. No. Blue Chew, exactly. come hit us up, man. They did the James 6 9 interview, though. It worked, hey, though. I ain't gonna lie. The Dan Rue Blue Chew fucking um, skits he be doing is fucking classic. Yeah? Yeah. Does he show his dick? No. Oh. Somebody sent, speaking of dick, somebody sent me that fucking picture of that guy again uh, where he's fucking naked wearing the, the perk jersey. That's hot. Oh, that dude. I hooked him in the uh, Sky Bree up. I believe. Yo, no, super no homo, but come on over, let's split a perk. Come on over and smoke perks with me, baby. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. Not Twisty Pete talking about smoking a perk? Yeah, yeah. Bro, he, bro, he was so offended. He was so offended that 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 we we like uh, <clears throat> assumed he was on drugs first. And then he admits. And then he was, admits yes. to smoking perks, and then he was like, "I'm a drug veteran." <clears throat> I was joking when I asked him if he ever smoked a perk. He's like, "Yeah." I'm like, bro, you gotta pick a, you gotta pick one, cause that neither of those make sense. Yeah, Fudge Willie sent five dollars. Said I like smoking carts more than blunts. Tbh, shout out No Jumper, shout out to Fudge. Shout Willie. Shout out to Fudge Willie, man, one of the one of the greatest musical artists of our our time period. F Fudge Willie can move out here and work at the store and just spit on his titties on the floor. <laughs> if he touches somebody's poop, he's out of here. <laughs> Go to the bathroom, <laughs> bro. <laughs> You could just tip him to touch his own poop. <laughs> Stop it. Jesus I definitely Christ. would pay Bro. him to see that. Reminder, right. Josh at NoJumper.com. If you want to be involved, if you want us to see you, we want, we're want we looking for some new talent. If you want us, if you want us to see Fudge Willie spit on his titties, spit on my <laughs> titties. email Josh. Spit on my titties. Uh, MJTV said, can I be the first black intern for No Jumper? AD, uh -huh. thanks for always. Yuri was the first black. Uh, That's a good point. Thanks for always replying and giving me motivation. Adam, you the goat. High rollers or don't roll at all. Hey, shout out to you, my what? guy. I would love a black intern. No. No? That's they, what he said. Can I be the it, first black it, intern? They call it something else. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Back in the day. I mean, we, we are trying to get some <laughs> more. Boys. Not Not interns, but if you wanted, like, you know, work at the store or help out or whatever, we're definitely open You're to. You're looking for a pack of employees. No. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Can House Phone do a fresh or Myron impersonation? He does both so good. I Let's just leave it alone. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've done it so many times. Because you like the new content. That's why. Hub oh, graphics. I never not like that content. I like this idea. Hub graphics said T. Rush should interview Pun next. He probably has fire stories. Pun got crazy stories. I was thinking that I was almost trying to interview Pun, Make but I wasn't. Interview Pun. That's what I was thinking. But maybe we do it with T. Rush. That'd be fire. That'd be fire, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, Noah Shrimp said House Phone end the beef with and get him on. <laughs> no, no, nah. Eb Cat. <laughs> Eddie Eddie was trying to tell me the same thing the other day, and I'm like, bro. Hey, shout no. out to Eddie for his house getting the fools on fire. Yo, Wait, Eddie Baker, it got the funniest Eddie Baker clip. was playing fucking Fortnite or some <laughs> shit, and he fucking I don't know if he like dropped the he basically dropped the blunt inside the fucking couch, and you see like a little stream of fire of, of smoke coming up. And he runs into the kitchen, and this is on his water. Twitter, and he grabs a fucking cup of water. Bro, I swear to God, his water situation must be It's the slowest up. reaction it ever. It takes him like a full <laughs> minute to pour a cup of water, and he starts pouring it on Why the fucking couch. On fire. He has to flip the couch over. The whole inside of the couch is burning and shit. It's fucking crazy. Can we play that? So hey, he please. Basically, he basically has no please couch now. Them. Pull up Eddie Baker's Twitter Eddie and fucking Baker, throw this shit produce. up. Oh, but, shit. He, but he was on, but he was on stream, so it's like, bro. Based on it, it seems like he might have like burned his whole fucking house down. Shout out EBE Castro in the chat as well. Oh, bro, me. this shit is fucking. Yeah, this shit funny as fuck. I mean, it wouldn't be funny if the whole house burned down. I'm yeah. not sure, bro. Eddie Baker, I would not want him to be in charge of if there was a fire because he no, fucking. He definitely can't be a firefighter, bro. It took him so long. <laughs> You're on A Baker's Instagram, yeah. Keep scrolling down. It's like a he posted the actual. Yeah. There it is. Oh, here we go. This is lit. Okay, I, I bro, this seen, is funny as fuck. Well. I haven't seen this. 
Yeah, I got 81,000 views. Turn now. the audio off because it's a fucking video game. Oh, movie. oh his ass is out. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Quality <laughs> shit. I wish we could adjust it. I know, right? Fuck. This shit got eighty thousand views. Are we in the corner? Yeah. Bro, his shit is burning. Look at that shit. Looks like there's a firework it's inside that the car. To get some fucking water. Bro, look. What is he doing? What is he looking for? He's trying to get water, bro. But look, look how water. I know, but I'm saying like he nigga. Look at look at look. It would take me like Five eight seconds. seconds to get a cup of water. I'm sorry. Or like a a pan or a something. Not a towel. What's a towel going to do? Towel's going to make it do? worse. You're going to make it, you know, make it worse. Five times worse. Gotta... No, John. I mean, realistically, <laughs> honestly, like, you're kind of fucked either way because, like, just a cup of water is probably not enough not to really. Do, yeah. But it, it's a good run start. Back and forth, at least. Yeah. Like, and, and think about how long it would take to fill up, like, a pot. I don't know. That's what I was thinking. Like, that's what I thought he was doing at first, maybe. What you should do is you should go over, put a pot down. Start filling that up, then take a cup of water, fill uh, that up, and then while you're bringing the water over there, it could be filling up the pot. At the same time, yeah. You got to work. That was actually smart. A Worst. fire extinguisher wouldn't be a bad idea to keep around the house. Who got them, though? Worst I mean, but it would be harder. smart. Yo, look Never at this. Never mind. I was going to say, we got one here, but it'd this, be a good one. This, house phone, this is when you start to see how bad it is when he starts to tip oh, the couch. Oh, hell no. Bruh. Yo. Yeah, ain't no cup of water. That couch that. needed to go anyway. At this point, is your favorite I'm movie. worried, like, is my fucking <laughs> shit burning down? Because, yo, I'm, sh I'm pretty sure he lives downtown, and I'm pretty sure. Damn. <laughs> well, like, that's a really specific claim. And he fucking, Hell like, nah, if bro. his shit burns down, the whole fucking bill. He probably lived in the Cecil Hotel. The whole bill is burned down. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. No, like, but yeah, he, he probably he, lives in an apartment building with a hundred other bro, people. His whole couch is burning. I want to know how this ends. Look yeah. at him. <laughs> it looks like he got alcohol in his hand. Yo, that's a smart idea. Get multiple bro, spigots going at the same what time. What the fuck is like one little thing of water like that going to do, Eddie? The funny thing about when you're watching this though too is that it has the fucking lobby music. In the game, and it's like this super like heroic sounding thing, like dun 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 dun, dun. and it's like Eddie Baker trying to fucking do battle with his couch. I can't believe that, bro. <laughs> Yo, I still cannot fucking believe. That's worth more than fifteen hundred likes. You got me fucked up. That's yeah. worth more than eighty thousand likes. I ain't gonna lie. When I Dude, seen eighty thousand views, he destroyed a perfectly good couch. When I seen it, I think it had like five thousand views. So to have eighty thousand overnight, it's correct. I'm offended that I quote tweeted it and it wasn't enough to get it above eighty thousand views. Bro, not to mention his own clout. I burned the shirt like I, bur I burned the shirt like that trying to fucking uh, crop it. And the fucking candle lit the whole shirt on fire, and I was like, I'm finna burn my homegirl. Oh, Whoa. fucking house down. Uh, Brendan said, Adam, shout out to GoFundMe to help Yuri's family. They're close to the goal. Yes, if you go to my story or if you go to Yuri's story, you will be able to find the GoFundMe. Prayers to Yuri, man. Prayers up for Yuri. <clears throat> Angel Borja said, Selena was the one who started the rumor about Chrome as an act. She said she saw them in person on her pod. Yes, I remember that. And uh, that was a whole thing. Wow. Lord she Glass. Still, she's still fucking with They David. both deny that being the case. So kind of weird that Selena said that. But Lord Glass said, Lil House Phone looks like he is live in phone booth on Fi Fi Crib. Love from the West Side of Chicago AD gang. Okay. Let's Thank go. you, my boy. I got a gang now. Yeah, AD. You gang. already had a gang, I thought. Yeah. <laughs> a pack. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, switch it up. Yeah. Adam Gibson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, no, man. Watch out, bro. I mean, the technical definition of a gang and a you pack is pretty a little, similar. You're getting a little close there. I mean, the only difference is a gang is supposed to be for committing illegal activities. Allegedly. Look at Pot Lord in the building. Don't think that we forgot. We know what you did. What do you do? You killed this girl. She's right there. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting people confused. Sorry. <laughs> She's right there. They got matching hoodies. <laughs> if House Phone killed, no, if Pot Lord killed this girl like OJ and, and beat the body, would we still fuck with him or are we going to have to I retire? Mean, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's only black surfer I know. If he beat the body on a technicality, are we just going to let him rock? Bro, who, how many black surfers do you know? It depends, on why, it depends on why he killed her. That's why. That's true. If she, she like kill a fish, then I understand. What if, what if she let somebody eat her out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, hey, and he just, just what? She killed a fish. Yeah. Hey, your blood was boiling, huh? Bro, Don't you I, ever do I, that I, again? I'll I, kill you. Did, she, tried, she took it back to the pet store and returned it. I get the, my money back. You return a dead fish? Yes. yes. Wow. So they got a like Nordstrom's policy, huh? <laughs> 30 days. 
You so can I take bagel back? Wait a minute. You return a dead fish? I'm so confused. <laughs> you better not come near my dog. <laughs> you better not fuck with Ralphie the Pup. Your dog's a custer. Nah. Oh, my Ralphie cat. the Pup? My that's, pup is lit. That's a fire name. That's though. a great name. Ralphie the Pup. That's really his name, bro? Yeah. Well, Shout out to Ralphie, too. Ralph. He on a run right now. Ralphie is bangers. fucking murdering you me. He saw that report card. He was like, fuck this shit. Bro, I turn it up. I couldn't believe that guy said, bro. I'm like, bro, have you not been hearing everything? Even before Draco passed away, bro. Mm. Pastor Ralphie one and two. Come on, nah, man. But right now, he's dropping some shit. That's what I'm saying. Pastor Ralphie two is crazy, bro. Yeah. Bang, bang. I'm going to read like all the final donation. Um, Zach Zobro said, Adam, I DM'd you, called me a loser on Twitter. I'm trying to get on the simp <laughs> show. <laughs> we got to bring the simp show back once we get into this new location, I think. Uh, I love you, Carmen. Sent ten dollars to keep up all the hard work, gentlemen. Shout thank out you to very, I love very you, much. Carmen, because she been donating. She didn't donate a gang of money to. Shout my out Twitch. to Carmen. Shout out to Carmen. Carmen San Diego. Shout out to anybody who is like, like, has that in them to post up and just give people money, like, watch them on live stream. It's support. Nah, for real. That's fine. Anyone who tunes in, the whole rope yeah, game method real, squad. The meth squad. The, ha- the hash browners. Kicking it with Mike G said, Adam, look out for my resume. I'm ready to work hard. Okay, we will check that out. Uh, shout out to everybody who watched this. Uh, no Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Like, comment, subscribe. If you could do me a huge favor and go to the No Jumper Clips YouTube and smash the subscribe button. <laughs> also, go to Jack Shack Clips it. on uh, Instagram oh, yeah. and just have shout a good, to them. good laugh. They're doing oh, the Lord's Power work. I used you. Yo, the part, the part, there's one part where I was freestyling. I'm high as fuck with Kiki, <laughs> Kiki and Val. Got me with the glizzy. And I go, I just saw two that shit was dudes good kissing. I'm not even tripping. Wow. I saw two dudes kissing. It was Val and Kiki. <laughs> they were sucking wee wees. Oh, no, and no, Val, no, Val no. just goes, fuck is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> so funny. I don't know. I was so I did, high. I did watch that the other day, honestly. So high, rapping about my friends being gay. Shit Why was hard. Why do you like this? Cause he ain't got shit else to do. He. Oh. <laughs> 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 We're gonna get claimed. Oh, Let's end it before we get scared. claimed for copyright. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, that fucking gang. That glizzy was delicious. Gang. It was. Gang, gang, gang. It was, bro. It was delicious. Gang. It was a. It was a, a beyond a t- Italian sausage. That shit was good as fuck. Ooh, I-